All right, so, all right, first and foremost, we give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God, Yahweh, the name is only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. I'll right, be back at y'all with another Friday night live class through the Spirit and Power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Um, we, we probably going to get Most High one a nice, good debate or dialogue, reason and session in here momentarily. Um, you know, so, uh, uh, but in the meantime, we got some stuff to talk about. A lot of stuff going on. Um, a lot of stuff going on. So uh, uh, we'll get into some of that. Some of that tonight. Let me tweet this link out. Make sure everybody got the link. Oh, yeah. You good? Everything good? Okay. All right. So like it. Let me um let me get this right. Uh water. All right. Hey, you know it's cool about the rain on you put the lotion on you can it comes about to be live, all right? Oh slide. All right, live now. All right. Yeah, we got a lot going on, though, uh, throughout the world. Even in, in Israel, people are losing their damn mind. Left and right. Um, give me give me Genesis 34 and 14 to start off. Genesis 34 and 14. Um, so uh, who's on Facebook? Everybody on Facebook, my brother on Facebook. Facebook is the devil's playground. Um, if you didn't know, if you haven't realized that yet, Satan, you know, he, he thrives. Or well, he's like back, that's like a place of bacteria. Like, what is it like a, a cold bacteria thrives? On Facebook, Satan thrives. Okay, <laughs> so you can understand, right? So apparently, who remembers the dude that was teaching ejaculating your wife as a sin? Who remembers that guy? Y'all remember that psychopath? Everybody knows he's an Edomite, right? Dark-skinned white man, all right? So you can understand. Forefather devil. Anyway, um, so this devil, this devil parading to be an Israelite, this tear, we're going to get that too. Give me the wheat and the tares, um, Yahweh Shai's parable. Uh, he's enabling, he's got people that's down with him. I believe his, his organization is called Principles of Idan which means principles of paradise or Eden, right? Principles of Eden, which he knows nothing of the principles of Eden because he wasn't in the Garden of Eden, all right? Was a white race in the Garden of Eden? Of course, the first white man, Cain, was there momentarily and was exiled out of the Garden. White race is not from the Garden of Eden, all right? So he knows nothing of the principles of Eden, but whatever. So he has a, a, a couple that's down with him that I've just been informed of, a white man with a black woman, all right? And you have this white man proudly coming up against the chosen children of God as if he knows something. But, but, but that's what Principles of Eden is. We forget that because brothers look at his outward color, but if you just take a look at his spirit, if you didn't listen, if you didn't look at him and you just heard this devil talk, you would know it was a white man. <laughs> you sound like a straight up white boy. Are you kidding me? Oh. With a knit, he got a yarn, knitted yarn quilted metrium. What type of homosexual is that? Your grand, you had your grandmother quilt you a turban? Are you? So anyway, they got this going on in their group. And it shows how satanic they are. How demonic they are, how disconnected from the Bible they are. Give me Genesis 34 and 14, first and foremost. Come. Genesis 34 and 14. Look at Genesis chapter 34, verse 13. Uh, 14, 14. So, uh, uh -huh. Verse 14. And they said unto them, Read. We cannot do this thing. We cannot do this thing. This is the man named Levi and the man named Simeon. And they are saying, we cannot do this thing. What is this thing that Levi and Simeon cannot do? Read. 
to give our sister wait to give our sister to who to one that is uncircumcised He's, we can't do that who's uncircumcised mm -hmm. the heathen i don't care if they're circumcised they are uncircumcised God. Why are you thinking the New Testament that says the circumcision and the Jew? The circum he's talking about the other nation or those of us that were identifying with the other nations. It didn't matter if you actually were circumcised. They had nothing to do with anything. Those other nations, it's not their custom to be circumcised. That's not in them to do that. That's our custom. Right? So go ahead. For that, we're a reproach unto us. It's a reproach. For your woman to deal with another nation is a reproach, okay? It's a bad look. In us, it's a shame when you see it. And we can, and we know that. The guy in the world knows that. Brother in the world knows that. Damn, she's got to get this damn cracker, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is off. <laughs> you just know it's off when you see it, it's off. I remember I knew this woman back in the day. Uh, 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 I was probably like, I mean, like 12, 13. This my sister was like 25. And then, um, you know, uh, uh, she was, she was so far mixed or whatever, you know, but she asked me, she was like, she was like, your dad's black, right? Like, cause that kind of be weird. Like <laughs> if you had a white dad, like that's just weird. This is we in the world. I'm a kid. She's 25, simple woman in the world. You see what I'm saying? But even it, on the world level, that's off. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? That don't even make sense. Right. In the world, how much more when you understand who you are, that you're the holy seed. And then you got the damn so-called black and Hispanic woman and Native Indian woman. This brother, he's watching the Native Indian movies. And I told him, and look, I said, I said, every movie, the white man is going to get the Native woman. It's a popular thing. On every movie, you see it. All right? And they push it out there for a reason. You see, they push it out there for a reason. And it has a degree of truth. But our women are lending their womb to the devil. That's what it breaks down to. And anybody endorsing that sort of behavior, that's horrible. You see, that that's a that's an indefinite shame unto us. Right? That's an ultimate. You want to slap a nation in the face. You go and you get with his woman. That's a slap in the face of that nation, right? Uh, uh, why do you think? So, I, I heard a million Negroes say they sticking it to the white man by getting with his woman, right? I heard a million Negroes say that because it's not. It, this is a very easy concept to understand. That's a slap in the face to a nation when you're dealing with their women. You see what I'm saying? It's very simple to understand, right? So we got to get that. God. Uh, uh, give, give me, you got another precept? Uh, no. Go give me that in the wheat and the tares. Come. It's the book of St. Matthew, chapter 13, start at verse 24. Another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which soweth good seed in his field. The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man that soweth good seed. What is good seed? What nation of people is good seed? Israel. Israelites. You are good seed, black, Hispanic, and native Indian. You and you alone are good seed. Every other seed of every other nation is bad seed. That's it's right. unprofitable seed. Right. Unprofitable for anything short of servitude. Read. But while men slept. While men slept. When, when were you sleeping? Who knows when you were asleep? Not in the womb. The water. Who knows when you were asleep? Yeah. Not when you were dead. You were asleep in slavery. You were asleep during colonial times. That's when you were asleep. You didn't know who you were, and a white man was turning you into a Christian. That's when you were asleep. When you were asleep, what happened? Well, while men slept. His enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat. The white man raped your woman while you slept. Okay? And here you got Negroes talking about the natives and the Latinos. Oh, they got mixed with Spaniard. Nigga, right. you got mixed with the English man. Right. 
And you got niggas like prop, uh, principles of I done, jet black, and a white man. <laughs> but you talking to me about somebody having mixed with the Spaniard. <laughs> Nigga, you mixed with the white man too. God, <laughs> okay? You got people in your damn family, black with red hair. How do you think that happened? <laughs> okay? <laughs> you said what? They lost their soul. They lost, <laughs> they lost their soul. <laughs> They're black gingers now, right? You people are crazy, and you got jet black white people <laughs> running around, all right, who are who I have the essence of the devil who would tell you something so homosexual as to you can't bust a nut in your wife. What type of faggot would tell you something like that? Oh, I know, a white man. <laughs> Only a white man thinks it's wrong to copulate in your wife. Only a white man would think that's wrong, okay? The same guy that molest kids. Who knows about Pizzagate? We're gonna talk about Pizzagate later. God, God. I'm gonna talk all about Pizzagate later. The white man is the devil, brother. Right. America must be stopped in his tracks and fast. Right? So go ahead. <laughs> while, while, while the conquistador came, the Spaniards came, the English came, the transatlantic slave trade, we were asleep. During that time, our women were raped, right? Go right. read. But when the blade was sprung up uh -huh. and brought forth fruit, uh -huh. then appeared the tares also. So when when uh, when we uh, came out, you said when Israelites are being reproduced, Edomites are being reproduced amongst us that look just like us. Read. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him uh -huh. sir does not thou sow good seed in thy field so people say well wait a minute didn't we sow good seed but wait the white man was able to rape and sow his seed amongst us what's going on right. read uh, from whence then have it tears uh-huh so why is there tears how do we know we know there's white men that's up in here White women is mixed in amongst us. Read. He said unto them, an enemy have done this. Yeah, the white man did it. He raped you on purpose by design. Number one, to help his infertility issues. Okay, read on. The servant said unto him, uh -huh. will thou then that we go and gather them up? Uh -huh. so, so they said, wait, let me gather them up. But here's the issue with gathering them up. Read. But he said, nay, lest while ye gather up the tares, uh -huh. ye root up also the wheat with them. You see that? You can't get you can't find out which one is the white man unless you know for sure. We don't know. Four generations ago, you can't name me your damn grandfather. You liar. Niggas that act like they can do it. You can't do it. You're a liar, nigga. Right. You can't name me your great, 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 great. You don't know the nigga's name. Okay? Stop playing with yourself. Like you know. You don't know. Okay, he could be exactly. You don't know what happened past the 18. Listen, if you listen, a, a, a lot of Negroes can't trace their lineage past the crack epidemic, heroin. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? The civil rights movement, 1930s, let alone the 1800s. You ain't getting past the 1800s, brother. You black, Hispanic, Native Indian. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Good luck getting past the 1800s. All right. You don't know what the hell happened. Number one, nobody's keeping meticulous record. You see what I'm saying? There's no records. Are you kidding me? Names, people change. Don't you know people change their last name? A lot of people don't know that. You got guys walking around with English last name. Their last name used to be French, Dutch, Spanish, Portuguese. But they what 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 they call anglicized it because they live in a country that's primary language is English. They make their they change their name to be English, right? To to assimilate with the society they live in. A lot of people don't know that, right? This is what happens over the course of time. People go to Ellis Island. You look at the damn records at Ellis Island. Who knows what Ellis Island is? I bought you, soldier. 
Ellis Island, also the tribe of Ephraim would be in there as well. Ephraim, Manasseh would be down there and things like that. That's where the Statue of Liberty is, right? That great whore that everybody wanted to come, all the other nations wanted to come and see the whore and be a part of this golden city. Fornicate with, fornicate with that whore. That's why that's the place, that's the main stop that was there. And of course, it ain't there no more. You know, I mean, Ellis Island's there, but that ain't where they bring in immigrants in no more. But the point remains, everybody would come through there and you would write who you were there. And at that point in time, you had the power to make your own name up. Right. If you wanted, if, if your name is Guerrero, but you want to be, you know, you know if you, you want to be, uh, 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 you said what? George. George. You didn't want your last name to be George. Your last name is George. It's whatever you write. You don't know what the hell happened, man. Brothers don't know what happened. And dudes are fooling themselves, uh, Tazama Ahmad. Like if the come over here now, they can just pick whatever birthday they want. That's why a lot of, a lot of the, you know, East Africans I grew up around, a lot of them birthdays is January 1st. Like some of them, some of them is February 1st, but a lot of them is, um, they just pick January 1st as their birthday. They just pick that because they, come, number one, they're coming off of an entirely different calendar than America. I remember uh, I went to school with these Vietnamese cats uh, uh, back back in, in, in elementary school, man. I used to uh, be tight with this Vietnamese cat. And uh, uh, he had two birthdays. Yeah. He had an English birthday, he had an American birthday, and he had a Vietnamese birthday. You see what I'm saying? you have two names. Two names. You'll have the, the, the name that's just a, a white name. You know, hey, my name is Don. Frank. But it's real. But he goes, oh, yeah, Frank. Well, we had this landlord. He told us his name is Frank. But mind you, he's my landlord. So I got his, I got documentation. I can't even tell you how to say his dude's name. So of course he just picked Frank. His name was like Jing Zhu or some, something like that. Jing Zhu. X's, eyes, and Y's in the name. I said, I got it. How your name start with an X? Right. Only unless you X Xavier, nigga. I don't know how your name start with an X. Right. You said what I You see that X Xavier is the only name I know that start with an X. Outside of that, and your name start with an X. What sound do that make? You see what I'm saying? Z <laughs> Xylovo? It's like an X X T H. <laughs> well, what? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> but you know what I mean? But so this is what happened. So <clears throat> you can't brothers have came and said, Well, look, ask me questions before. Well, look, we know there's some rape happened with the slave master. Or the Spaniard did this and that, brother. You don't. You 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 don't know. <laughs> you you simply don't know. You can't prove it. You see what I'm saying? It's all speculation. So read that last part again. And Khan. because it's all speculation, what read it? Con. Verse thirty. Uh huh. Let both grow together. Let both grow together. Read until the harvest. Until the harvest. Until the end comes. Let both grow together. Read. And in the time of harvest, uh -huh. I will say to the reapers, uh -huh. gather ye together. When, when it times come to gather the elect, the angels are going to gather. Yahweh Shai said he's going to give charge to the angels. That's who the reapers are. Right. Reapers, where you get the grim reaper, you walk around with a sickle. The sickle is used to cut the crops in the harvest. Right. So you cut in the wheat and the tares. Right. Read. I will say to the reapers, uh -huh. gather ye together first the tares. Gather them tares together first. Gather those Edomites that's been sown amongst the black and Latino man. Read. And bind them in bundles uh -huh. to burn them. And burn them. <laughs> They're the devil the whole time like their father. Come. Read. Right. But gather the wheat into my barn. You gather those Israelites into my barn. Right. Go back up a bit, though. Read that again, what, what happened. Let them grow together. Um, top of verse 30. Uh -huh. Let both grow together. Let them grow together, read. Until the harvest. Uh-huh. And in the time of harvest. So, like you read up before that. Oh, okay. Come on. Say, okay. Nay. Start at nay. Verse 29. But he said nay. He said nay. What? Lest while ye gather up the tares. Uh-huh. You root up also the wheat. You see that? Him. Oh, he's light skinned. He looks like kind of like an Edomite. Get him too. That be Israelites. You see that? 
This is why Yahweh Shai said, don't try to gather the weak and the tears. Because right. you're getting a brother that's light-skinned. Meanwhile, the jet black principles of Aydan is a white man. And you look looking at the light-skinned brother. Dude, want to come on my... I'm, 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 I'm posting a damn Nick Cannon video on uh, on Facebook. Here's some nigga who will come on there. The guy in this video is not an Israelite. He knows it. I said, dude, my daddy is five shades darker than you. He said, but he's not an Israelite. I said, okay. He said, well, if, we'll prove it. Post a picture. I post a picture. He said, right on, brother Shalom. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But see that? You see, leave it up to these Negroes. They're going to gather wheat. <laughs> they're going to try to gather wheat and burn wheat. And they're going to let a tear along right. simply off of physical appearance. Yahweh Shah told you not to do that. Right. Just let it alone. Your forefathers black, your forefathers Hispanic, your forefathers Native Indian, to the best of your knowledge, all right then. Come on down. If you're not right, the most high God, you're not an Israelite. No more if you're an Israelite and you ain't right. Let alone if you're not an Israelite, you're not gonna last in this thing. Right. You mean to tell me you're an Israelite, but you just want the white man to just go down? And you're gonna willing to stand on the street corner about it? Come on, man. Hey, some of these top leaders are gonna be terrorists. Yeah, that's right. These Israelite groups. That's it might be, right? So go ahead. But he said, Nay, let's while ye gather up the tares, uh -huh. ye root up also the wheat. So leave there. it alone. The black, Hispanic, and Native Indian are the Israelites according to the Bible. Right. Don't so you got some what are these niggas saying now? No, it's the Afro Latino. Afro Hispanic. I see. I, now listen, Afro, right? Let's keep the word Afro in mind. I done seen essays light skin as hell with an Afro to hear. Uh -huh. Is that an Afro? He got an Afro, don't he? He must be an Afro Latino then <laughs> with that Afro. But according to his his facial, if he cut his hair, you may not know that, right? You idiot. Somebody just got to be dark skinned. So the Hamites, they bring the Hamites in there, right? Ethiopian in. You're an idiot, okay? <laughs> That's all that is. You're just stupid. Finish that. Matter of fact, let's go to Hosea real quick. Give me that Ephraim is a cake unturned, which they have, they never can break that down to you. They never can tell you what this scripture means. All right? They never can tell you why it say Zebulon shall be a haven of ships and his border shall be the Zidon. They don't know what that means, soldier. Zebulon in the back. Somebody told me that that is about the ancient land, but when I showed him the map, it's landlocked. Uh, <laughs> Ze Zebulon is landlocked. How is Zebulon a haven of ships anciently when you look at the land of Zebulon in the Bible and it, it doesn't have water in it? It's landlocked. There's no water in ancient Zebulon, and Zidon is not by it. Go ahead. That's where they make the ships. Right? <laughs> they, 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 they carry them to the actual water, right? <laughs> That's the type of idiot, idiotic breakdown a dude will give you because he wants to vex Ephraim. Go ahead. Uh, Book of Hosea, chapter 7, verse 8. Uh -huh. Ephraim, he have mixed himself among the he people. He had done what? He has mixed himself among the what people. What is the significance of him telling me he has mixed himself among the people? He's mixed. Okay? It didn't call it, they call him a mams or a bastard. No, it just said he had mixed himself. It said he's Ephraim still. He just mixed himself. Right. That goes for the whole north. Read. Ephraim is a cake, not turned. They vary in complexion. You what? Break it down another way. Show it to me. Make it make sense to me. Bring it to life for me. Right. I haven't seen you do it. All right. So until you can, that's got to be what that means. Period. God. Zebulon, a haven of ships border the Zidon, right? What Break it down to me. What does that mean? What is a strong ass couching between two, two birds? What is a fruitful bow? Who is the troop that was overcame, but he shall overcame at the last? Nigga tell you the tribe of Gad is the Zulu tribe <laughs> <laughs> that sold you into slavery and that were some of the biggest faggots of all time. Right. You know what the Zulus do? Break down what the Zulus do, Sergeant. Man, the Zulus, man, they go, I don't know if you guys know, you might have to uh, do a little research on it, but they got this gang called the Numbers Gang. Now, listen, y'all remember when when when, when Jamie Foxx said they got drive-bys in Africa now? 
You see, he's talking about the numbers gang, okay? <laughs> Go ahead. What is this? What, the 26, 27? Yeah, 28, 27, yeah. and 26. I got yeah. three ranks now. Three rankings. You, you, then you go to your, you got the BG, the YGs, the OGs. Them, no, no, no. They got 26, 27, 20. All right. Come All right. On, break it down. And then, uh, uh, so each, each, uh, each ranking through the ranking system, the top, the top rank would be, you would be a 28. So you're in charge of giving out, uh, punishment. So you would be, uh, you're like the enforcer. Of, of, of capital punishment, right? And they got capital punishment. And the capital punishment in this, this Zulu, this Zulu uh, tribal gang uh, is sodomy. So they, they actually sodomize. If anyone in that gang uh, breaks any laws or goes off or gets, catches any violations, the, the capital punishment in that gang is uh, sodomy in the 28th performed in it. And uh, it, it gets even deeper than that. It, it, it gets... It gets real sick. Yeah, and they, they want to give you AIDS, too, because yeah. most of the 28s, they're carrying the AIDS. Right. You see that? That's what the Zulu does. That's the tribe of Gat? I don't think so. That don't sound like <laughs> that don't sound like anything we're into, the Israelites. Okay? And, that's you, can, a, you, can, <laughs> and you can look that up, man. That's out there. <laughs> that's that sick as hell. And they take pride in, in what they do, in sodomize. Okay? We put Fleece Johnson to shame. <laughs> okay? But that's the tribe of Gad? No, that's the Hamite. That's what Sodom and Gomorrah, what nation were they? What son of Noah did the Sodomites and the people of Gomorrah come from? Ham. That's where the white man got it from. The white man has took it to another level. Granted, but he's not on a, he's not an originator of anything. He gets his stuff from us and the Hamites. Right. And when it comes to the faggotry. He got it from the ham bites. Let's not, let's not get that twisted. God, That's from come. And they from us. All right. Finish that out. God, uh, that was it. That was it on that? Yeah, I had a precept too. Okay, get your precept. <coughs> yeah, what's going on? Go ahead. It's the book, uh, it's the book of St. Matthew, chapter 3, verse 12. Who's whose fan is in his hand, uh -huh. and he will thoroughly purge his floor uh -huh. and gather his wheat into the gardener. And he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. That's right. He's going to burn up the chaff. He's going to burn you up if you're not an Israelite. Right. He's going to burn you up if you look like an Israelite, but your seed lineage is not that of Israel. Right. You're going to be burned up. Right. You're going to be destroyed. All right? Because you're the devil that the Bible speaks of. You know, it doesn't matter about your complexion. Doesn't matter about physical appearance, it matters about who your father is. Uh -huh. Give me Romans 11 and 16. That's what matters according to the Bible. Who your father is and nothing else. Uh -huh. All right. That's the book of Romans, chapter 11, verse 16. For it, for if the first fruit be holy. The lump is also holy. The what? The lump is also holy. If the first fruit, what's the first fruit? Jacob. If Jacob is holy, his lump is holy. Go ahead. If the first fruit be holy, the lump is also holy. Uh -huh. And if the root be holy, so are the branches. If the root, that sperm that you come from. Nothing else. It didn't say nothing about the soil. It said, if the root be holy, then all the branches that didn't spring out of that tree, which is what every Hebrew, Israelite, Black, Hispanic, and Native Indian is, that's what holiness is. Okay? If you were planted in soil by the devil, then you're unholy, and you're a corrupted seed. But you're an uncorrupted seed and a holy seed if you come from Jacob. Right. Right? So go ahead. So that's it on that. Come. Come. You know, so that's simple and plain, right? What's up? They ready? All right, we got to get this dialogue cracking, y'all, on the spirit. Uh, what's they what's they joint? Deposition, deposition news. You know about that. Yeah. 
That was just a new gmail.com. I invited him to his own funeral. First thing we're gonna do is ask him well that's that well that's a is a car thing remember we was down there at that uh uh chicano park they had montezuma had to, he had the she shell be fringes on his on, on every he had it on his damn ankle he had a he had like a, a calf uh uh uh, uh a band on with fringes hanging off of it, she seashells on. You see what I'm saying? Gems, gemstones, and stuff like that. See, they was having a lot of riches back there, the Aztec, Montezuma, and whatnot. All right, you, you said what? You said, yeah, them gemstones, all them precious gems, and whatnot, turquoise, and all that. Yeah, and with all that, which you read about in the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 we have, yeah, oh, yeah. Well, as a matter of fact, who got who got my bag? Go to the bag, get that E5. Get that e out of, that bag. Yeah, you see that? You deal with the Issachar, deal with the gem, Gad, deal with the gem. That's going all the way back with the 12 stone. You see that? The court, give me, uh, give me sec, I mean, Wisdom of Solomon 18 and 24. Not yet. You said it. it's, it's in that main part. It's at the bottom, though. You're going to see it. There you go. Bring it to me, and then I'm going to have you bring it to them. As y'all see the e Twelve stones for the twelve tribes of the nation of Israel. Right. right, go ahead, show it to this correct brother. Give me that in, in Wisdom of Solomon eighteen and twenty-four. Look at Wisdom of Solomon chapter eighteen, verse twenty-four. Uh -huh. For in the long garment, in the long garment, right? This is that priestly garment that Aaron was arrayed with. Read. Was the whole world? The whole world, meaning all twelve tribes, all twelve stones is there. That's what the whole world is in twelve stones. Read. And in the four rows uh -huh. of Every, the stones, the four rows of the stones, read, was the glory of the fathers that's, graven. That's right, graven of all of our fathers through those stones. So each of them stones represent one of the twelve tribes, right? And that represents our glory. You see what I'm saying? And our 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 component on the earth. Go ahead. I just want to get that. That's wisdom of Solomon, eighteen twenty-four, to my. Order of the tribes, order of the yeah, they got the it show show it to them. It's got the it's got the tribe graven graven on it. You see what I'm saying? Every 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 tribe name graven on it. So when you send it, he just logs on and it should see. Yeah, on his email. It's going call. Yeah, it's gonna come up right on his email. On his email? So yeah, on his email. email. Either, either way, it's gonna it's gonna be on his email if, if nothing else. You see what I'm saying? Hello. What's up, man? Where they at? Deposition news. Yeah. Yeah, Deposition news. You are two times more than hell, or something more than the child. Look at child of hell. Child of hell in, in the gospel. Here, I'm sorry. I thought it was that, but this uh, it's it's we gotta split D post man. I don't even know what that word is. D post I own news. Yeah, hey, 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 bro, that ain't even the word. Look, that don't even come up. Here we go. Come on, check his email, man. Come on, these people waiting to see this good debate and dialogue. Give me that, uh, uh, Isaiah 1 and 18. God. Isaiah 1 and 18. God, it's the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, <clears throat> verse 18. <clears throat> Come now and let us reason together. That's what we going to do again. We've been, we've been at it through the Spirit these last few weeks, coming together. <clears throat> Let's just reason about it. Let's let's deal with it. Let's 
Let's talk about these breakdowns. Let's talk about these scriptures. Right. Let's talk about the conclusions and the deductions that we are coming to. And, you know, let's see what, what's more sensible for the, the greater body of Israel, for our people. God. You know, so they can be led aright in the spirit of power of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, period. So that's what this is about. Maybe yet another one, you know, so we're, we're trying to we try get this brother on. We'll try and get this brother on. Oh, uh, in in the meantime, uh, this Monday, uh, February the twentieth, I know all y'all went and got the future album uh, this morning. Um, you know, a, a be, a, yeah, a, 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 a better album is coming out on 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 Monday, so. Make sure to go out and get that, okay? <laughs> Tomorrow album dropping. Nah, uh, Deacon album coming out on Monday. So most of y'all, y'all, y'all check that thing. Y'all, y'all cop that, okay? Yeah. <laughs> already, uh, already got the leak. Already got the leak on on Spotify. <laughs> For real? <laughs> For real? He <laughs> like they already got it. It's on Spotify. <laughs> it's already out. They didn't leak. He saw the leak your record. I, <laughs> I thought I was gonna leak his record. The white man that leaked it before me, man. Right there. <laughs> Bootleg, man. He saw it just on top. And nigga said, nigga, nigga on Spotify. Nigga, I got that. <laughs> check this check this new heat out man oh man you know so yeah y'all make sure to check that out new video coming out too so look out for that in the meantime where, where the hell are these guys at <laughs> You know, and, 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 and you know, it's so funny, man. He's just <laughs> this guy. Here's my thing, man. This guy, he's he's so he, he's so desperate and sick and lonely and pathetic, Nazi. Um, you know, and he's just seeking all this attention from women. He, you know, he's trying to get women on his side. You know, the women don't even, you know, they, they can't take him seriously. And you know why women can't take Nazi seriously? Because he's trying to teach them. And he got the same thing on his head that they go to sleep in. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, 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 you know, they just, you know, it's just to look at him like, you know, what you're saying, I, I might can get with it, my nigga. But, I mean, you, would you, you get that from your grandma or something like that? Like, literally, what he got on his head, you go to the beauty supply to get. You know what I mean? The little, Richard, the, the little you know what I'm saying? You, you, go to, you go to the beauty supply and get, and his sister's sleeping that. You see what I'm saying? Soldier. You ask them. You see there, Sally. All right, go in there with your woman one time. You you and you'll see it. All right, and you'll see the picture that's on it. It's a woman that's wearing it. You see what I'm saying? Looking like some type of damn East Indian Aladdin or something like that. You know, like 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 he, you know, he flying on that magic carpet. You know what I'm saying? That's what he looked like. I can show you. Okay. <laughs> Right, look like look like he get up and has some pointed some J's with the pointed. <laughs> with <toe>. <laughs> <laughs> you, look. you know what I'm saying? That's how he look. That's not where where the Hebrew Israelites shown in antiquity looking like that with them damn Hamite prayer beads on his damn neck. Where 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 do we do that? You can't show it to me, okay? I'm niggas in West Africa. Brothers in West Africa, some of them is Israelites, true. And some of them is a bug out of their damn mind and dressed like the so-called Jew. When we look, y'all say whatever you want about One West Power Rangers, all this nonsense. When you look on them stone, on that archaeology, that we dress in how they dressed, period. We can prove it with archaeology. All right? All that stuff y'all got going on, I don't know what that's about. He's so infatuated with the Arabs, he want to dress like that. That's true. He want to dress like the Arab. Because the Arab is just the most, is just the center of his universe. And he keep making posts and posts and video, and now he got diss tracks about us. You keep, whatever helps you sleep at night, Nazi, and you're just infatuated and you're obsessed with us. 
because you, you had your shot, brother, and you blew it. All right? <laughs> you just blew it, and and that's it. You only get – remember what Eminem said? Just take it from Eminem, the seed of Jaffa, according to you. You only get one shot. <laughs> you blew it, man. All right? Okay, Cheddar Bob. His, his new name is Cheddar Bob. Okay, he's trying to. Sarge said, "You drop the ball, you drop the rock, you drop the cobblestone. You drop the cobblestone. You drop the cobblestone, man. Okay, in Mecca somewhere. And look, look, I got a question. I got a question for Nazi. I'm a spoil. I wanted to wait and save it for one of these crazy Negroes. Here's my thing. Um, in the Bible, in the book of Jeremiah, what is Babylon called in Jeremiah? Deacon, can you tell me? I know you know the answer. In Jeremiah? Yeah, what is it called? A few things. Oh, I think about this. There's something specific I'm thinking about. There's a reason. The land, that's it. The land of the north. Now, let me ask you something. Is Mecca north of Israel? So then how is Mecca Babylon if we're talking about geographical locations now? Because he's complaining about us not answering his geographical question. Right. Here's my thing, though. If Babylon in the Bible is called the land of the north, and in it, when, when you factor in Israel, Mecca is dead south of Israel, how the hell is Mecca Babylon? I'll wait. Don't worry about it. I'll wait. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out one day. <laughs> one day we'll 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 put it all together. Hey, you still ain't asking the location. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> location, 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 man. I'm gonna holler at him when I need my next apartment. I'm gonna come holler at him. He got he got the real estate got game real estate. down. Yeah, location. Yeah. It's about location, brother. Right? That's, right. That's crazy. What's up? What are these dudes at? Okay, he said try try it different here, man. If this okay. don't work, then I'm just gonna take it like he's running. Oh uh, I I I, I know it was lying. Yeah, I know. I I O N. Hold on. Oh, uh huh. E N. Uh huh. E R G at gmail dot com. Oh, there we go. This one might work, man. Oh, there we go, oh, Eric man, man, E B. Come on, Eric. Come on down. Let us reason. What the hell is that, man? Come on now. Come on. Who was that, your doctor? Oh, yeah. No, he's he's yeah, doctor, he just had no reaction. He's just, he's just, he's just, he's just, okay. Come on. Where's my man EB? Come on. Get on, now. Right? Let's do this. Good, man. You he's on there. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Two minutes. <laughs> All right. Now nah, we're going to say what? We're going to say what? I thought I want to talk about this pizza gate tonight, man. Again, the white. So, 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 uh, uh Jamar, remember you told me you looked it up on Wikipedia and they tried to talk about how it was debunked? Right. <laughs> oh, my God. The white man is the devil. You know the debunking point? They lied on half of the debunking point. Cause you know we watched we watched a very good video one, oh, oh. and uh, see, I guess somebody tried to make like a, a, a misinformed point, and that's what they harped on—a misinformed point. You see what I'm saying? Not the actual point that was being made. You see what I'm saying? So, oh yeah, we're gonna talk about that tonight. The white man is the devil. That's right. Okay, we can never. They thought if, if, if listen, if anybody could sit down. And watch that video and hear about it. If you don't know anything about the, if you don't believe the white man is the devil, you watch that and you don't come to the conclusion, something is seriously wrong with you. Right. Seriously wrong. He said he can't hear nothing. 
he can't hear nothing. He's not. He he needs to join. He hasn't joined. That's his problem. Cause I can't see him. So if you, we can't see him, he can, we, why would he be able to hear anything if he ain't joined in here? Hate the sin, hate the sinner. All the y'all dudes all confused. <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> <laughs> nah, <man. laughs> Every time it gets quiet, I'm just dropping details. Right. <laughs> There he is. Eric! What's up with you, players? Clutch. What's up with you, brothers? Can y'all hear me? Yo. Y'all can hear me good? Hello? Hey. Go ahead. Y'all hear you. We hear you. Okay. I, I, I can, I can, y'all kind of low, but um, I guess as long as y'all can hear me, I can make y'all out. My main man. What's up with you, Deacon? Man, this was a long time coming, man. Long time coming. I man, you dudes got to get hit. Y'all travel, y'all travel enough to where y'all should know about jet lag, man. I'm in the Midwest, right, and that's right, hey, right. and that's lack of participation from you brothers. I've been trying to get you brothers from the East Coast, the West Coast, come to Kansas City, man. See how we trying to move, trying to build. But I know that's not. You know, that's just kind of like a little, you know, side joke or whatever. I know y'all go around different places when y'all can, but I'm ready when if you uh, – I got one I got one question, though, before we get started. Um, yeah. If – if now, y'all might take this as a buck dance. Please do not. I'm assuring you that it's not. I'm saying that if y'all want to give me the opportunity to pose – maybe like five questions to you and you can set it up to where you can go back and give those uh, questions some, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Some, uh, some, 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 some decent, some, 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 some decent consideration as far as, you know what I'm saying? Doing it on the wing. Cause you can't possibly know what I'm going to ask you. And I always tell people and let people know that I have done, collegiate debate and that's called sabotage scholarship and i don't believe in that so it's cool if you want to do it on the fly i'm good with that you know what i'm saying but i wanted to extend that opportunity just so that i'm not you know what i'm saying being a person that's in the know of how i should do things and not exercising that because you know here's the perfect opportunity to drop something on somebody that they might not be ready for right now I'm not saying that you're not i'm just saying uh, yeah, we can definitely do a comeback. That's cool. I'm cool with that, but I feel like I'm ready to answer any. Oh, hold on. Give me one second. I done blacked out. Damn it. We can y'all still hear me? Yeah, yeah, we still yeah. hear you. All right, hold on. Let me get back. Oh, I'm there. All right, I'm back. All right, but I, I feel like what you know, whatever questions y'all have for me, I'm I'm ready to answer them, and you know, I'm big enough to admit that if I don't have the answer to it. You know, it doesn't make me the worst guy in the world or a scholar. Okay, um, we'll, we'll kick it off like this. I want to know who are the Israelites today from your understanding? The Israelites as a whole nation, or are we just specifically referring to the northern kingdom? The whole nation. You don't have to go through every tribe, just kind of like a general – General and brief okay. synopsis. Well, I, I I I subscribe to the status quo of the 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 north the southern kingdom, consisting of two and a half tribes, Levi, Benjamin, which you know we cover all of those, but one in Judah, right? Which uh, I believe that the brother uh, Alazar is from the Haitian descent or so-called Haitian descent, which would make him Levi. Y'all asked me a question previously that I buck dance according to one of y'all, but that's cool. I'm good with that. Y'all asked me who I believe Ammon was today. I subscribe to Ammon being of obviously the descent of Lot and deriving on or, or, you know, going all the way down to the, uh, what we call the Chinese today. You know what I'm saying? I subscribe to uh, the Japanese being uh, his brother. 
You feel me? I subscribe to the Japanese being Moab. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That, that, let me reverse oh, that. Oh, wait. I, yes, sir. I, re, I subscribe to the, the reverse of that. Reciprocate that for come, me. Come. Um, I subscribe to Ephraim being the head tribe of the 10 in the Northern Kingdom. And I subscribe to the writings of Paul, who leads me back to the writings of Hosea, that those Gentiles in the New Testament was speaking about those who were uh, dispersed, disowned, you know what I mean, cut off from by the Most High himself. He actually gave them a nice little divorcement and all of that. So I subscribe to the 10 tribes being Gentiles in that, not by bloodline, but by uh, uh, course of action from their higher power. And I think y'all subscribe to that as well. Okay. So in this, I think we agree on. Okay, you, you want to do? Uh, well, I, I would say that it was not the Northern Kingdom who were Gentiles, but they were definitely Israelites. But I, I would say that it would be predominantly the Southern. Kingdom. You said you said. I'm sorry. You. I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't hear you. You said you. Did you say you don't subscribe to the Northern Kingdom being Gentiles? No, not the the Gentiles that Paul was writing to. We subscribe to that, of course, predominantly being the Southern Kingdom, but definitely Israelites, uh, nonetheless. Oh, okay. All right. So can I? So I pull the first scripture of the night. Mm -hmm. I want to direct y'all attention. Oh, question: While I'm getting that scripture, y'all can answer this or not. Do you subscribe that color is important? Is is important in determining Israelites? Um, on a surface level. All right, I can rock with that. Uh, Romans 9 and 25. Let me know when y'all got that. You got that up? Oh, you I got it. I got it. Okay. Go ahead, King. Uh, I, I, I don't have it right in front of me. Give me one second, because I, you got it? All right, it says in 9 and 25, it said, I'm going to start at 24. He says, even us, whom he hath called not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. So he's giving us two people, two different people that he's speaking of here, Jews and Gentiles. 25 further says, as he said also in OC. So I recognize OC to be the prophet Hosea. So he's telling us right here that he's talking about Gentiles that were disowned by the Most High back in, oh, in Hosea. I believe that's the first or the third chapter, one or two, maybe the first chapter, if I'm not first. mistaken. Mm -hmm. So if you're not poor, the very thing that makes you tell is that they're not a commonwealth of Israel, which these people were not a commonwealth of Israel after the book of Hosea. The Most High disowned them, therefore making them Gentiles. So we know that these are the ones that Paul is talking about because he talks about the grafting back in of these same people from the natural tree, from the natural branch. So we know these are the ones he's talking about because you can't be grafted back. I can't come back into your party, or your album release if I was never there in the first place to the party release or the album release party and I was never there in the first place. So when he says they could be drafted back in again, that, 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 that tells me that he was talking about people who were already a part of this commonwealth. So that's how we know that the Gentiles in Romans 9 and 25 is being is 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 the is the northern kingdom that were that were disowned by the most high because we can't see where the so-called Jews, we don't call them that, but the southern kingdom, we never see them being referenced in the scriptures as uh, Gentiles. Are, are you sure about that? 
Let me take that back because I know you probably got a scripture that probably disproves that, <laughs> yeah. which is not, which is neither here nor there, uh, because because I'm gonna go right where you gonna take me to, and I, and I'm I'm gonna check myself on that because you're gonna obviously have uh, uh, people in the southern kingdom who had that Gentile state of mind as well, so that would make them Gentiles as well. So I'm not gonna even let you destroy me. Like I'm gonna go ahead and correct myself and and move forward like a scholar should. So I'm saying that. I, I, but I do subscribe to the majority of those Gentiles that Paul is speaking to are talking about the northern kingdom that was dispersed. Okay. Okay. Um. Because remember, Paul wasn't accepted by his people. He said, oh, we turned to the Gentiles. Yeah, yeah. That's who he turned to and started giving his message to because they were and then which even proves further because of the churches. None of the churches, I don't believe, in my in my estimation, the seven churches was not comprised of Southern Kingdom Israelites. It was Northern Kingdom Israelites. Those would have been the part of the dispersed. When we do the history on, uh, when 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 the Northern Kingdom was extracted from Israel in what was that roughly, seven forty B.C. Mm -hmm. And that lasted approximately 100 years, all the way up until roughly, you know, 100 years later, when when they was finally, when the well, 20 years after the initial siege, roughly, the last kingdom, Ephraim, was taken. And then we know that that's long before. See, I'm I'm already give what I'm where I'm going to with this. My point is. When we get to the scripture in Ezra, 2nd Ezra 13, that tells us that they went to a place where never mankind dwelt. All right. It's just like we can't say with in all certainty that any part of Turkey was was never dwelt. Like we know that place to have been inhabited. I mean, as far as we know. Right. Because this is where we subscribe to. I haven't subscribed to it just yet because I'm still researching it. But. It seems to me that Paul sent letters to where the Israelites were. And he never sent any letters to the Western Hemisphere. There is no proof that Paul sent any letters to this side of the world where the majority of the Israelites would have came. This was 10 whole tribes that migrated to these continents over here. You, so that's so a that's whole a, lot of people. That's the majority of Israelites? I'm saying, the, yeah, uh, well, we talking about the the, the Northern Kingdom alone. You, 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 you so I'm know, saying, I'm saying that the, the majority. You, you do what know I'm saying. Know, maybe I, let me let quick, me restate that. The majority that Judah, of the tribes. Judah and, and Levi is I'm deeper sorry. than all the rest of the tribes put together. You do know that, right? Okay, I, and, and I'm I'm not going to dispute that. Okay, okay. because what I meant to say was that the majority of the ten tribes would have been on the ships coming here to america once they decided to take counsel amongst themselves right and leave yes, the sir. multitude of the heathen that would have been the majority of them yes sir so when they got here it would we 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 say that this place was that this was the place where never mankind dwelt but then we would have to explain away the almec heads we would have to explain away the multitude of artifacts that would predate because they have artifacts that that dates around the time that the Israelites would have still been in Assyrian captivity. Okay. So and therefore, they, they also just have like, artifacts that predate the Bible according to their science as well. So can we go off that? That's right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I, I and I do I do give credit to that argument. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm the main one that says. You can't show me nothing a million years old based on carbon dating. Period, right? And, I'm not going to go and, for and that. Let, and let me say this about that. Like, just going off of relative dating and civilization, civilizations rising just real quick as, as a, like a side note. For example, like they say civilizations was in West Africa thousands of years ago, but there's no actual evidence of civilization in West Africa until like 700 A.D. Because we was migrating over there, you know what I mean. We, right. we we got there and we did our thing and we built that up, right? Okay. You know, and then of course the Hamite, you know, the Canaanites all got ran out of of the Middle East with us. So you know, we was all over there together, just right. like we were in the Middle East together, right? 
Kyle. But s- same thing over here. Like, you don't really see – there's not evidence, true evidence of documentation outside of, oh, this is carbon dated to this, of – civilizations existed in the Americas prior to 2000 years ago. It just, there's, there's just no evidence of it. You know what I mean? So, but, but go ahead. I just want to make that. Unless, yeah. And, 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 and unless we use a science that I don't fully subscribe to. Exactly. Exactly. So, 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 so I'll concede that, you know what I'm saying? I'll concede that because I, 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 I would be a hypocrite to sit here and try to argue that, but I do try to extract what makes sense to me. You see what I'm saying? Just like, when we go into uh, DNA, and I know that that was one of the topics that the deacon wanted to address because necessarily I don't subscribe to white man's science. But if I could prove to myself that it's not actually white man's science, A, and B, that even if it is white man's science, I have to be shown that it is, um, what's the word? I got, I'm a man of words and I can't find it. It's, it's, it's imperfect for lack of better words, right? So when I talk about DNA and we talk about a particular type of DNA that proves uh, heredity, right? We speak about that. I don't subscribe to that being the white man's science because I can find that science in the Bible first. Because the Bible already told us that the house is reckoned by the father. So that's the same to me in my mind. Somehow I still see 99.99 or whatever it is when I read that. Mm. That's why. Because this science is not new to the scriptures. Just like Solomon already told us how meteorology works. How currents flow. How the wind travels. So this is not white man's science. We've been on this. With the, the, just because the scriptures don't explicitly say that we go in and extract strands of DNA and this is how we prove. These are sciences that the Most High himself made sure we, if we didn't practice the science, we at least knew the methodology and why it should be that way. Meaning about the house being reckoned by the Father, right? Because if it wasn't the case, then your, check this out. Here's something deep. This is specific, specifically to you, uh, Brother Alizar, if that wasn't the case, your mother's father, his bloodline would be lost. You see what I'm saying? Where would it have went if if her if she reckoned you, or or, or, or if 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 your father didn't reckon you, then you know what I'm saying his bloodline is lost into your mother. How can that be? So I subscribe to that the Bible already told us the science even it didn't tell us the practice of the science you, okay, you see so. what i'm saying so uh, so okay. so if it if it's if i can find where because i watch a lot out of ancestry dna type deals where people go live and spill their results so the minute i start seeing like notable african descended melanated people having high levels of european concentration of of dna in them then that seems kind of flawed. But case in point, the 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 sisters, well, not even sisters, the females that we know, the twins, Tamara and what's the other one's name? Tia. Tia. We know them to be Edomites because their father is an Edomite. Huh. And, and when they went and done their DNA testing, it showed that they had the majority of, of European blood. So this is, once again, a science that I'm never going to say that it's infallible because there's nothing infallible on this earth except for the scriptures. But it does give me something to consider when saying, okay, George Lopez is the same kind of Mexican as my bro over here. And he has a high level of European descent. You see what I'm saying? Majority, not a a high level. They're always majority. African descent, though. So where does the African come from? How is he part African? So because because obviously, just like when you talk about um, the the um, the the uh, Spaniards who raped, you know, what I'm saying the melanated people on the continent of Europe, obviously the mother is going to give forth. Traits, you see what I'm saying, just like your father gave off traits to you and your mother gave you certain traits. 
You see what I'm saying? We're going to get them traits. So so yeah. that's explained because look at the fact that it's people in Mexico, the same people that, that are called Mexicans, but they called Afro-Mexicans. Who? So now, I know that the these people... Here, here, here's the thing. Once we start talking about Mexico, because uh -huh. um, there is a, there are grand misconceptions that brothers who don't really interact with Mexicans have in regards to Mexico and Mexicans and Afro Mexicans and things of that nature. Okay. The people who are called Afro Mexicans, did Mexicans ever call them Afro Mexicans? Mexicans in the room. Did Africans, did Mexicans ever identify we're Mexicans and they're Afro Mexicans? No. White well, people, I white people push that to cause separation. They never looked at them as any different than other Mexicans. This is an agenda brought in to cause separation. There was never no Afro, Me it was just Mexican, always. So I just, I want to make sure that that's understood. Uh, that, yeah, up until, it's, up it's, until. It's Mexicans that you wouldn't call Afro-Mexican that look the same as those that you would call Afro-Mexican. So it's it, it's really like, it, it's there's an agenda yeah. there, but go ahead. No, no, hey, look, that's not true. Because first, first because because this is the this is the good thing about this argument in that nobody has any claim to it before last year this year in 2016 mexico documented 1.5 million afro mexicans they don't look like the mexicans that we call mexicans today listen, they yeah, do listen, not listen, look like on, wait, wait 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 again go ahead how go let ahead. me ask you something the school you okay. The school you went to growing up, how many uh -huh. Mexicans went to that school? Boy, not very many. Not very many. I went to nah. a school that was over 74% Mexican. That's demographics, though. That, that's, demographics. that's demographics. But I'm telling you the, the high volume of Mexicans that I've been around versus what you've been around. For you to tell me that these Afro-Mexicans don't look like other Mexicans, you're lying. No, nah, hey. Or, nah, you're, no, well, you're actually nah, lying. I'm, you're not lying. Well, you you just don't have enough prerequisite information to make that declarative statement. You don't. I I I would These I would Mexicans contend. look the same as Afro. I know light skinned Mexicans that got Afro bigger than you can grow. You see I, what I'm I saying? Can, I can so that it's 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 just not it's just not true. Just like when somebody from the other side of the country will tell me that there's a race war between blacks and Mexicans going on in Southern California, that's not happening. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like you can't tell me that because I live around these people. You see what I'm saying? Okay, so 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 not to say that I can say this. I didn't grow up around a lot of Mexicans because our hoods was just black like that. You know what I'm saying? It, it's a different because I know how that is in Cali. You know what I'm saying? Especially, you know what I mean, in different places where it's heavy, high volume, you know what I'm saying, Mexicans there. But I'll tell you this. Every prison that I've been to, every one of them has been filled with Mexicans. And I done been cellmates with Mexicans. I didn't had outright fights with Mexicans in I didn't been in 10 prisons in three states with Mexicans. So I'm not uh, listen, I'm not you, I didn't been to Puerto Rico where I know that is Puerto Ricans that I, I know y'all know I'm black. I got I'm full melanin. I know them that I seen them blacker than me down there. Because I know for a fact they don't descend from the same Puerto Rican that we know as uh uh, uh what's her name the uh Jenna, uh not Jennifer Lopez but her too uh uh Marie, the, from White Men Can't Jump the, the Rosie Perez Rosie Perez that's a Europe that's a Spaniard but how, proven but how, by her DNA but if we can't go by it? DNA hold then on, we, on, have wait, wait, drop, we have Here's to drop we have to drop you're saying that. Based off of a physical appearance, I know no, not at all. That are tw that are twins to Rosie Perez. You see, not at so, all. I'm not saying nah, that. But, nah, but it, you are going off of physical appearance because it's people it, who are blacker than you, as black as these Puerto, who do descend from that's, Spaniards. That's why so I asked you earlier. So your argument is so problematic. It's crazy. Okay, You're just going off of your understanding from the worldview that you have, from whatever experiences that you've gone through in your life, and you're making declarative statements about people that you have not thoroughly investigated their, genealogy, their, gene, their genealogy. 
You see what I'm saying? Like, okay, so that's extremely problematic. All right, I, I respect that. What I'm saying is that we can't say that, you know what I'm saying, that color don't matter, though. Right? Like, no Negroes. Said, no, one, no one said that. Hold up, hold up, no one hold said up. that color didn't matter. It matters on a surface level. But what okay, makes so, okay, so, so, is so, the so, how, so, or is it the prophecy scriptures? What'd you say? What makes us Israelites, the color scriptures or the prophecy scriptures? Uh, the prophecy scriptures. Because, because we don't have a monopoly on being black. Right. You see what I'm saying? But go ahead. Right, exactly. So but what I'm saying is that I I, I but so it's just like when you say we're gonna talk about bowling pins. Okay, the fact that they're white don't matter, right? Because they're gonna still fall out, you know what I'm saying? And you can have them different colored bowling pins. When we mm -hmm. talk about traditional bowling pins, they just white. There's just no way around that. That's just like traditionally. Negroes are going to be the same thing. They're going to be black people, but I'm not, but I don't, I don't, I don't use that as a hundred percent say that that has to be the case because we have to go in and consider situations like Gehazi. You know what I'm saying? Gehazi got cursed to have that leprosy to cling to his bloodline. So, so obviously there's going to be Israelites that have different skin tone. King David had a ruddy complexion. We know that ruddy I understand that ruddy is too tight. You got a ruddy red and you got a ruddy, you know what I'm saying? So why, why would I assume that it's talking about the ruddy red? You know what I'm saying? It obviously would be the ruddy brown because of the the, the knowledge of the foreign on before we get to King David. So when we talk about today's Mexicans, I'm not arguing that there are Israel. I'm saying that there are – I not about the argument that you made against what I said, I, I didn't just make a statement. I'm ready to prove that they don't look alike. I'm ready to show and prove that. You feel me? Because like I said, see, this can't, this is not, this is not something that's specific to one West, right? This is not something that came out of one West. So, so a lot of these arguments that one West has a lot of experience on due to the very fact that this is, you know, where the big stream of this push came from, Right. So a lot of this information, they have experience over, if nothing else, over most people. But at the end of the day, this is an issue that they don't because it's been documented. Like somebody would have to show me other documentation that anybody ever knew about these Afro Mexicans before last year when they was officially put on record. This is what the official statement no, is. 1.5 million Afro-Mexicans. Listen, record let me is finish. A, is a let part let of me an finish. Agenda. I'm going to drop the mic that, after that's this. That's an agenda. You, you, you're talking about an agenda. But they don't look like them. Huh? Know, here's the thing. Every, everybody, you have to understand that Mexicans do not deny the fact that you had African slaves, so-called African slaves that was brought there and they mingled in with the indigenous women in slavery right. along with the indigenous people and Spaniard is up in there as well. Nobody's going to argue that. But this whole segmenting them away from the rest of Mexicans is a part of an agenda. Everybody has known they've existed. There are a, a plethora of Mexicans with overtly Negroid features that we see every single day, 15, because we're 15 minutes from the border. You see what I'm saying? All right. So, so, so people who are being identified as Afro Mexicans, people who are not being identified as Afro Mexicans, could fit the criteria to be an Afro Mexican, but based off of they may be a couple shade ladder or whatever stupid ideology they have utilized to try to create this classification, it's not working. It's all it's all there for divisiveness. That's the reason it's there. It's a part of an agenda. You see what I'm saying? That's it. It's an agenda. Okay. So. I'll, I'll, I'll take, I'm going to end my argument with this, well, this portion of the argument with this question, because I think we clearly see where we stand on this issue right here. Last thing would be to say, if we had um, a population of black women who were raped on the continent of Europe, which we know happened, this is where, you know, a lot of this, these atrocities took place. Wouldn't those offenders have Spanish babies? Of course. 
Huh? Of course. So this is the population of people that I'm talking about. Anybody that's not from that population, I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about whoever descended from the rape of black women on the continent of Europe, which would be babies of Spaniards. Okay. So, but now, if them are not the Mexicans, then how, I stand how do, corrected. How do we determine who was and was not? 500, because, what happened 500 I, years okay, ago. How do we determine? Prime that? example. In my community, I ain't speaking about yours because you there with them, but there is an, now you asked me, did I go to school with them? Mm. Now, here's the thing you don't know about me. I'm 45 years old. So Mexicans just started migrating into our neighborhoods like this. It Yo. just now became a thing over the last 20 years. You see what I'm saying? But here, boy, they get help from the government. They own properties. They have money here. They, not, they are not an oppressed people. They are not, there is nothing about Mexicans that I've come into contact with. Now we have the occasional Mexican that runs with Negroes, that shaves his head, that trims his beard, that buys his rims, and he hangs with them. He's the one that's getting victimized by society because he placed himself amongst a people who we are targeting. See, they so, don't get the treatment so, that we so get here. Here's my thing, right? Go if, ahead. if he goes in to get a job, how do they know he hangs out with black people? I'm not, I, no, I'm not, I, I feel you on that. I feel that. What I'm saying is, <laughs> I mean, when we talk, no, 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 no. I got you. I got you. Let me, let me, let me make, let me uh, make myself clear. What I'm saying is that we see some, okay, for instance, the prison population. When I, I'll just break it down to, uh, you know yeah, what I'm saying, like a minor. They're in the jails with you, right? You huh? They are in jail with you, though, right? Yes, sir. Uh, but but that's what I'm that's, that's what I'm getting to. That, that's what I'm getting to. Listen, Go ahead, listen. Man. They might listen. They might be in jail in Cali to a higher degree because there's a higher concentration of them there. You oh, see yeah. what I'm saying? But when you balance out the concentration to where the numbers are more normal, they are not. They don't populate the prisons like that. They are there. I'm not saying that they're not because they are there. But you know why? Because they're big time drug runners. They run a lot of dope. If we took account of who brought the most cocaine and weed into these counties, why that I seen and watch them cry their hearts out when they're getting deported back to Mexico. Because they because they came, they come here to commit crimes. A lot of them do to put money back Just in Donald Mexico. Trump, we Donald Trump, guys. No, 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 I'm not. I'm I'm hey, I'm I'm keeping it 100 with you, bro. I'm saying like population i ain't saying that all mexicans are like this i'm dealing with now a certain group of them uh, hold on i'm sure some of them are good people right no, <laughs> no, no I, I mean go ahead yeah i mean i'm sure i'm sure so i'm sure there are some good mexicans out there <laughs> you know what i'm saying but I, you know what i'm saying and that's a joke because i also make the same argument about people who i don't believe to be israel to not be my decision in the first place i'm just saying based on information that was presented to me in the scriptures, right? But what I'm saying, I, I, I consider Uriah the Hittite, who was not an Israelite, who had an Israelite wife, who stayed next door to the king, who, who I would say in my estimation has his spot in the Most High's kingdom because he was addressed that way, just like he would refer to Cyrus as his anointed. So these were not, these were non-Israelites who knew they wasn't Israelite, but still knew who the God of Israel was and respected that. So all I'm saying is that at the end of the day, it's not my call to say a man is not in God's kingdom. What I'm saying is that since we look, um, uh, brother Gorilla, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go there one time. Since you, Zoryak and uh, Nathaniel and Yohanna, since all y'all had a big influence on information that I took, and since I've been interrogated. A big part of my life by Esau. Self-inflicted interrogations. I'm not saying they were sitting there interrogating me for nothing neither. But what I am saying is that I pick apart stuff. And all I want is to some Deacon. Did you not did you not hear me admit to you that you corrected me on a situation? I willingly took that correction and said, You're right, bro. I agree with you. I'm not that type of Negro, bro. You show me what it is, I'm gonna rock with that.
But for, for, but, but, but as it stands now, I seen them give me the Zondervan Bible Dictionary, which told me that Shem put forth Negroes. So now you're going to tell me that I shouldn't be so harsh on finding out who is Negroes and who's not. Because you went and used that same information to bang on people who obviously was not Negroes. I'm just saying. Not you in particular. I ain't saying that you, because I, I can't you see, I, I, I cannot re recollect you actually, to my knowledge, I haven't seen you uh, um, g uh, grab the book. You see what I'm saying? And use it. Although I know you subscribe to that, I have, sure, I'm not sure, saying sure. that this is because of you. I'm saying that this is what we was handed. And, I, and I, I, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but I'm saying if we hold one nation to these scrutinies, we got to hold all of them to these same scrutinies. And if they turn out to be Israelites, okay, here I go. My foot's in my mouth. No big deal. It's just like somebody saying, oh, Eric Butler smokes marijuana. Shit, you can save 15% on your car insurance by switching to Geico. <laughs> Everybody knows this. It's not that's 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 common information. Certain shit about me is just what people know. And I say that I'm working on self. I got to get me together. And, and you're not gonna quit shit unless you don't want to do it. You can run out here and fake for your deacon or your elder, but at the end of the day, you got just like the scriptures say, a man can stand. It's the coldest scripture I, I can think of right now. But it says a it's like a man who beholds his natural face in the mirror. And then lead a mirror and act like you don't even know who the nigga you was. Yeah, yeah. You walk out the yeah. door, you a pimp player, but you was just crying over this girl and about to kill yourself. <laughs> All these type of things we see the, the the true hearts of men, and I've seen it at his at his at his most deepest essence in these prisons. You see yeah, men yeah. turning the straight bitches. I'm I'm I have no other way to put it. That's right. You I've seen it with my own two eyes. Men that was respect for being a real stand-up guy. But that's another mm -hmm. story and another man's problems. All I'm saying is that I take the information. I, I agree. Like I told the deacon, it's just a few things that I don't. I respect the Sakari movement because I know you the type of guy that will say, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I, because I'm the same way. For, even when me and the deacon had our little moment, I, I'm not going to just disrespect y'all said or nothing like that because I genuinely got respect for y'all camp. Real shit, because I go ham on anybody. I don't care. But it's certain people I got respect for, and I try to keep that to a minimum. And y'all happen to fit that criteria. Yeah, I ain't nobody, but let me be writing the rhymes. I bet you in my own rhymes, ain't nobody colder than me. Ask my baby's mama. <laughs> <laughs> so go you. ahead Ak, I'm going to go ahead and give yeah, you a right. chance to take, you know, okay. ask whatever questions you want to ask okay. you know what I'm saying I appreciate the dialogue first and foremost yep. you know what yep. I'm saying because this is a platform that I know y'all didn't have to allow me on you know what I'm saying so I appreciate that I appreciate okay. the combat back and forth the mental combat because I truly know that I'm going to get some stuff to think about and ponder after I come into a conversation with y'all brothers okay What's up? What's up? I got I got I got a couple points I want to yeah, make real quick. Just address just address what you first. Uh, initially yeah, brought with, out. just what you initially brought out. Just dealing with um Romans nine, right? Dealing with the Gentiles and what what is the tribal or the kingdom identification of the Gentile is Romans nine, and uh, I got it. you got to read it for me, Bible Twenty four, twenty four to twenty five. Romans chapter nine, verse twenty four. Uh huh. Even us whom he have called. Mm -hmm. Not of the Jews only, right? Not of the Jews, read, but also of the Gentiles. So you're comparing and contrasting too, right? Go ahead. As he saith in OC, uh -huh. I will call them my people, which were not my. He people. said he said in Hosea, he will call them my people, which were not my people. Read on. And her beloved, uh -huh. which was not my beloved. Read. That's it on that. Yeah, that's it on okay, that. let's get that in Hosea. Start at what about eight? Go ahead. Hosea one and eight. I got that for me down there. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Now, when she had weaned the Ruhamah, she conceived and bare a son. Then the Most High called his name Loamai, for you are not my people, uh -huh. and I will not be your God. Uh huh. Read on. Nah, we got verse six. No, no, no. Start at eight. Right? Start at eight. eight and go down. Okay, verse ten. Uh huh. Yet the number of yet the number of the children of Israel. Uh -huh. Shall be as the sand of the sea. Now we know that's a promise that didn't just come on the kingdom of Israel. That's a promise that came on the entire nation. 
that this children shall be as the sand of the sea. So now this is qualifying that it's not just in reference to the northern kingdom, but it's in reference to the entire nation of Israel. Read. Okay, it says, Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, uh -huh. which cannot be measured uh -huh. nor numbered. Which cannot be measured nor numbered, right? Read on. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, you are not my people. Where it was said, you are not my people. This is that prophecy. Where it was said to, it wasn't just said to the northern kingdom. It was said to all of the tribes, all the whole kingdom in America. Read. There you will be, there it shall be said unto them, uh -huh. you are the sons of the living tower. You are, it will be told that you are the sons of the living God. All 12 tribes in the place where we said you are not, where we said we were the African American, where we were this, we were that. We were black. We were all these various things, right? There will be said. So this is not just kingdom specific. It is nationally. Uh, um, uh, what what is the word I'm looking for? It's nationally encompassing. You see what I'm saying? It goes to all of it. So okay. that that okay. um that 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 uh that that angle there with Romans nine, it's still the all the tribes were called the Gentiles. So you got that for me in in Maccabees. Get that? Why you get that? Uh, Alazar. Yeah, go ahead. While you get that, uh, uh -huh. my only my only problem with that is that when we get to verse six, and he said, no, we we'll start at verse five. He says, and it shall come to pass at that day that I will break the bow of Israel in the valley of Jezreel, and she conceived again and bare a daughter, and God said unto him, call her name La Ruhama, for mm -hmm. I will no more have mercy upon the house of Israel. Mm -hmm. This is specific to the northern kingdom. That's yeah, proven. No, it, but, it, but, that, no, but it, that listen, and that's the thing. That part is specific, which is why I started at eight. Because if you take a look in your Bible, the context changes at verse eight. It clearly shows that in your Bible. See, and what qualifies it as 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 it continues to verse eleven. Now watch. Read on to verse eleven. I'm gonna show you. Verse eleven. Uh -huh. Then shall the children of Judah uh -huh. and the children of Israel. Uh huh. Be gathered together. So it's telling you that the whole nation was going to happen to this, and then that's when it happens to the whole nation. All the tribes will be gathered back together. This is why we yeah, have to pay close attention to the contextual changes here and what's going on. He's saying uh, this absolutely. is going to happen to this kingdom. That's going to happen to that kingdom. This is going to happen to the nation, and that's going to bring the two kingdoms together. You see? I absolutely yeah. agree with you. I absolutely agree with you that the context is important. Because it specifically pointed Judah out. It, it gave a separation of the two kingdoms that we can agree on. It said that, I, he said, I will no more have mercy upon the house of Israel, but I will utterly take them away. But I will have mercy upon the house of Judah. So they're not going to receive the same punishment. So they're not going to be... Yeah, and when you went and said they they, they gonna come together, they gonna come together from two different situations. The Northern but, Kingdom but, went but in on, one well, situation. The but hold on, brother, you're jumping because you're applying six to eight to eleven, and that's not what's going on. No, no, that's no, no. I'm, 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 going down, I'm going right down. I'm going right down. The, I'm going right down. The, the, listen, I'm, listen to what's being said. Now, when okay. she had weaned Laruhama, she conceived and bare a son. This is something new and different that it's talking about from prior. So you can't bring that in. This is something that's different that's going on. After the okay, no, 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 no. there's a new that. son and there's I a new that. prophecy that's going on. Right, hold so up. No, I contend that. Different. You said what? I in that. I contend uh -huh. that. I, 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 listen, because because when he when he first started this, when he first started this, he said the beginning of the word of Lord, of the Lord of by Hosea. And the, this is verse two. And the Lord said to Hosea, go take unto of whoredom and children of whoredoms for the for the land hath committed great whoredom departing from the Lord. So he went and took Gomer, the daughter of Dibion, which conceived and bare him a son. So we know, look, every one of these is specific to every birth is specific to the nation of Israel. Every one of them births of every one of them children. They didn't have nothing to do with Judah. So when he said he would but not Judas have, being, but but Judas being mentioned, so how can you say that? Yeah, listen, he said he, oh, man, he, he mentioned on, Judah. Wait, 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 wait. So All right, go ahead. Only, only the northern kingdom is going to be as the sand of the sea. No, no, no. It do. It, it, it said it was going to gather. 
See, now, now this is the thing. I'm reading to you verse 10 where it said, Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. Is that just right. talking about the northern kingdom? No, no, because uh, when you read no, that, it's in the point nah. stand. Let me let me answer. Go when ahead. you're talking about that, you're talking about after the gathering of the two nations. Then they will be as the sand of the No, 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 no. It sea. says they shall be. No, wait a minute. It says they shall be in the sand of the sea. After that, it says in verse 11, then shall the children of Judah and Israel be gathered together. So it's actually the opposite of what you just said. Okay, so let's let's look at that. It says, yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in that place where it was said unto them, Ye are not. That's what I'm saying. This is a future. Now it's going into the future. We understand. So it's that. not the opposite of what I said. It's exactly uh -huh. what I said. No, 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 no. It, it says it's, it's, then it's, the children. Okay, so, then so where, when they get to that place, said, then no, no, shall minute, the children no, of Judah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where was this? I'm only interrupting you because no, no, I can't hardly hear you. Said that the where was it said that the Israelites were not Israelites? Where was that said at? Everywhere. Where did they know they was Israelites so, at? So, so, so that means that it was said to Judah then too, right? You, you saying what now? It was said to that, Judah that, then that, too, that, right? That, Judah, that, that they said to Judah that they were not God's people? Yes. Is that the question? Yes. I agree. Then the point stand. Yes. Okay. All right. But that's just, okay, that's just like saying that, okay, I can, I can give you that point, but that's just like saying that when we go and talk about uh, you know what I'm saying? The, uh, that's just like the um, the blessings of Esau and Jacob. They're they are, they are identical. When we know they're not identical, you know what I'm saying? Certain parts of it are the same. Okay, yeah. And that, it still stands to, stands to reason that Judah received their own punishment and Israel received their own punishment. Two separate punishments. They did not two, get two dealt separate, with the same way. Entirely punishments. Where did the Most High? Where did the Most High say that He divorced the nation of Judah? Because we can go and show where He divorced all right, all right, all right. the nation of Israel. Go ahead. All right. Don't worry about it. Go ahead. Uh, Jeremiah chapter two. Verse See, look, you 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 detracted from that statement, and now you done went back on it, and you should have. Which statement? Which ahead. statement? Jeremiah. Hold on. Wait. 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 About about Judah being divorced. Now you done messed up. Go ahead. Hold up. You said by Judah being what? I divorced. You saying that Judah was divorced? Gonna, I'm going to read it to you. Show it to Go me. Ahead. Okay, okay. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 8. And I saw when for all the causes whereby backsliding Israel committed adultery, I had put her away. Israel, the northern kingdom, right, Read. And given, uh, and given her a bill of divorce, yet her treacherous Sister Judah feared not, but went and played the harlot also. And it came to pass through the lightness of her whoredom that she defiled the land and committed adultery with stones and with stocks. Now, here's, and I'll go continue, but here's my question. What does it mean for God to divorce you? Should you been put away, but you didn't now, show me where, where he nation, divorced Judah. As a nation. How does the Most High divorce us as a nation? See, I mean, clearly you become a victim of the curses. No, wait, 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 wait. There's something very specific. When he says it ain't just the curses, because we've been cursed prior to that. No we've doubt. Been captivity in our own land in the book of Judges several times. So we've been cursed prior no to doubt. that. It ain't just the curses. What is the divorcing of the Most High from us? from any group of people okay so that, that's my that's my interpretation of it you obviously got a different answer for that the answer so let's is hear getting put out of the land that's what it mean when they say okay. he divorced right. israel he kicked him out of that, that land. you got a scripture that says that's what that means well what does it mean then how is it now here's the thing what i'm saying is no, no, I'm, I'm saying wait like a we i'm not disagreeing with you now we done got cursed in our land so it can't just be the curses None. If you are put out of the sight of the Most High, does the scripture say that? Yeah, uh, about both kingdoms, I'm sure. Put out of the sight. What does right. that mean? You got divorced. But but he specifically said divorced when it came We're to the about northern him kingdom. Judah right now. 
Go okay, ahead. well, I'm, I'm waiting on, on it. Finish that out. And yet, and yet, for all her, and yet for all this, her treacherous sister Judah have not turned to me with her whole heart, but faintly saith the Lord. And the Lord said unto me, The backsliding Israel have justified herself more than treacherous Judah. Go and proclaim these words toward the north and say, Return thou backsliding Israel, saith the Lord, and I will not cause mine anger to fall upon you, for I will be merciful, saith the Lord, and will not keep anger forever. Only acknowledge thy iniquities, that thou hast trespassed against the Lord thy God, and that hast scattered thy ways to the strangers under every green tree. Boom. So now here's the thing. This is Jeremiah what? The third chapter. What, what time period is Jeremiah uh, prophesying? What time period is this? Uh, I yeah. I mean, without me just referencing that, I, I don't that, even I, need your. I don't even need to, to, There's an event that's getting ready to happen. What is that event? What you mean? In the book it's of Jeremiah, a major, a major, uh, 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 landmark in time that's getting ready to occur to us. To who? right at this time? To Israel? Yes, sir. Or to Are you speaking about Judah. the melting pot from the north? Yeah, yeah. In reference to that, what okay. what is it though? What happens? I mean, like, on now I'm gonna keep it real on you that with that issue, I, you know, I've heard a couple different doctrines on it. You know, what I mean? it, 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 I'm, I, I'm I really, not even talking about doctrine. I'm talking about like the historical event that's getting ready to happen. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, I've heard everything from that being the sweeping of the uh, of the uh, European uh, forces throughout Europe and taking okay, over. Okay, okay. I'm you with know you. what I'm, I'm saying? With all right, all right. Well, the point I'm making is Jeremiah is prophesying to us right before we go into Babylon. Okay. That's the point I'm making there. He said, uh, okay, I got you. Prophet that's warning us, okay, look, if y'all don't quit now, the Most High go do you how he did the Northern King. Because we already just seen what happened to the north at this point going up into Assyria, right? So he's saying, look, you see he divorced them. He's going to do you the same way. You've been more wicked than them. He's going to do you the same way if you don't repent. And clearly we ain't repent because what happened? We went off into Babylon, right? But he didn't do them the same way. Just the fact of the matter is he just didn't do it. He, I mean, so he, he could he can win and, and declare the Judah. Out of the land. Huh? Did he remove the southern kingdom out of the land? Absolutely. He said he was going to do that. So then how did he not do them the same way? Because, because, because what, look what happened to the Northern Kingdom. Let's just look at it. What, what, what about us happened that, that, that didn't happen to, that didn't happen to us that happened to them? You saying that it was nothing to happen, man, when you, oh, let's just use the people that you say are Israelites. Let's look at the Mexicans. Man, them people do not subscribe to the to none of what we talk about. You got a few here and there, but boy, I'm telling you right now, they they are brother, going to brother, ride brother, Virgin again, Mary again. to the you're, death. You're, you're, what you're going to have to do, are, what you're going to have to do is stop, cease from running to rhetoric. Do you know that there no, are Hebrews? No, this is not wait, rhetoric wait, wait, wait. at no, all. No, no, wait a minute. I, I wait promise a minute. you, this is not rhetoric. It, this it, is my it is experience, rhetoric. and I'm gonna tell you why it's rhetoric. Can I tell Hold you? Hold up, wait, rhetoric? but. Go ahead. He Go ahead. Israelite schools in Tijuana, Mexico City, at the bottom of Mexico. Israelite schools full of Mexicans. Just because they're not on YouTube and Facebook don't mean the damn thing. So hey, you listen. keep opening your mouth about stuff that you don't even know about. Bro. Listen, listen, uh, listen. What I'm telling you is that when you go and when you go, just like okay, let me give you, let me give you a problem. No, no, wait. We're gonna have to stop. Hold on. Wait, wait. We're gonna have to stop because okay, you talked a whole right. lot, and now we got to make our points. Okay, Before go ahead. Get off into any rhetoric argument. I'm, I'm listening. Well, you, you, but keep in mind, you never showed me the point about uh, uh, Judah being divorced. Let's just make that clear. I didn't get that. Well, 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 hold on. Did Judah get booted out of the land? You saying that that's what that means, and you haven't given me a, a, no type of okay, information so that proves that that's what it is. What, what does it mean to be divorced? Man, it means to be put away from Israel. To where you're going to be, be called a Gentile. Oh, no, no, wait. To where, no, 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 hold up. Put away from Israel. Hold no, on, hold it's going right to be, it's gonna you cause you to be called, no, it's going to cause you to be called a Gentile. That's what it means. You got totally so you disowned minute, from the minute, Most High. Be called a Gentile. Were you ever called Why? a Gentile? Well, did, the, did the Southern no, Kingdom no, have to get drafted back in? 
Huh? Were you called a Gentile? I personally, myself? Yes. Shit, probably that and some more shit. Point proven then. Point proven. You well, were wait, but, but so the southern kingdom was put away from Israel and called things that was not an Israelite. Therefore, everything that happened to the north happened to the south. So if that is what being divorced is, then you cannot argue that Judah was not divorced. Number well, one, listen, and what's the I point can, of Christ I, I, I coming? Argue, and is Christ only going to marry the northern kingdom? I can't. No, no. I can, That's I, the marriage. What's the point of the marriage? Hold, because somebody hold up, wait a minute. So somebody got to get brought to be married and come back. Hold up. No, the people, they're not. No, they're being grafted back in. Where do you see marriage at in there? Oh, no, they're being no, grafted marriage, back in. Listen. Give me, give me that. Give me get bit, bit listen, into the marriage, please. Did no, the southern wait, wait, kingdom wait, wait, ever get grafted? Wait, I, you keep putting your okay. Your All right, go ahead. I, I respect. Go ahead. I'm time too. So just go ahead. Calm down and wait because you go messed ahead. up. So go Matthew, ahead. Go ahead. Matthew twenty-two and nine. Uh huh. It says, "Go ye therefore into the highways, uh -huh. and as many as ye shall find, read on. Bid to the marriage. Bid to the marriage. What is the marriage?" Israel being married to Yahweh Shai, who the world calls Christ. That's the marriage. That's the adoption of son. That's what all of it's about right there. You so, but so you that's but you're talking about tribes. two different things. You said what? People, that work with people who don't understand context. You're talking about two damn different things. No, wait. Nobody's. How are we talking? You're talking about marriage. No, I'm, you're talking about marriage. I'm I not saying a damn thing things. about marriage. You said what? You're talking about marriage. I haven't said a damn thing about marriage. You said putting away. Putting away is what you do to end the marriage. That's a marriage topic. So we're both talking about marriage, huh? Okay, all right. If you want to put it that way, that's fine. I think you said uh, what in the words of yourself, if that's what makes you sleep better at night, I'll rock with that. But what I... Mean, I here's, here's the what, thing, though. What, you, I, what the fact of the matter... It, you haven't presented... It, like, I don't understand what's hard to get about that. Somebody was divorced. Because somebody was divorced and already somebody received a redemption, they got to be married again. That's what has to happen. So in the My Old Testament, we're divorced. In the New Testament, the prophecy of the bridegroom and the marriage is there. I mean, it's clearly contextually Every working together. Everybody that listens to this video, because I'm not on it, everybody that hears this, is going to realize one thing when we, because I always make points known. Because I'm a debater, I don't have to, I don't have to argue about nothing. All this is etched in stone now. The fact of the matter is, the scriptures say that the Most High divorced the Northern Kingdom. Okay, specifically. So, so Christ is oh, only I'm, coming. Back all right, I'm gonna let you finish. The then Northern I'm gonna finish. Kingdom. Go ahead. You done? Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. So Christ is only coming back to marry the Northern Kingdom, right? I never said that. You that's what that's how yeah. I said you talking. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. This is on, why I say you talking no, about wait, two wait, different wait, wait, things. Wait, 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 wait. You you did say it because if they were the only ones divorced, you I, you can't marry somebody who's already married. No, he's marrying the nation as a whole. He's not my marrying. Man, he's not man. marrying a. So if he's marrying the nation as a whole. That means the nation as a whole would have had to have been divorced. You can't marry somebody. No, you marry. that's called no, no, no. See, you talk. This is what I'm trying to tell you. I. You see what I'm saying? You're not. You're not hearing my point. So therefore, you can't never decipher what I'm trying to tell you. What I'm telling you is that you're talking about two different issues no i'm not whether you want to prove, the to me, video is going to me, clearly I'm, I'm, prove this show to me I'm you, to okay report. i'm gonna let show you finish me. elaborate i'm trying to do okay, i got the floor the marriage i got a question i'm telling you that when really you're talking thought. about the marriage that is I'm, to the whole nation of israel you're okay, correct okay. Okay, so you're for that the nation has to come together northern and southern you're talking about two different issues no how no, many again, do you see what i'm no, saying now how, how is it how is it two different issues because if the northern was kingdom divorced, was if divorced I'm married, if i'm married how in the hell can i get how how can i marry if i'm married listen he's marrying the the combined nation of israel I, okay so but but if 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 judah's married then how can judah be getting married again no, listen. Okay, so what you're saying, you're dealing with Christ one in one spectrum. Then another spectrum, you're dealing with the Most High. The Most High put forth the slavery, the divorcement, 
Christ is reconciling or reconciling that. See, what that's the how, difference. Exactly. You're talking about, you're talking about reconciliation taking place with a group of people who do not need reconciliation because they were not divorced, brother. No, no, not at all. They were dealt with in another way. That's why he said, do he, he, he said, well, well, he, uh, he, you uh, just read it. You just read it. He no said, divorce. he said, he said he also he said that Judah dealt treacherously as well. Mm -hmm. But he will have mercy on them. Show them mercy. mercy and give, show, hold up, let me finish. How did he show Israel no mercy and he showed Judah mercy? Where's the mercy at the end? And where's the not mercy at? Uh, uh, they didn't uh, get that, the that's same the question. I'm asking you. That's the question I'm asking you. The question that if what if happened with was put out of Israel and right. alienated from who they are, and it happened to Judah too, then right. what are you talking about? What I'm talking about is obviously is that he was gonna have mercy on Judah. So then Israel has the northern kingdom has no mercy then. So then why are they being remarried and reconciled? He didn't. For, yeah, for a time they did not. Okay. For a spell they but for, but for a spell they did not. And for a spell Judah did, and then since then Judah has not. Well, I mean, that's subjective. That's subjective. Okay, so, I so won't now, argue now, that. Now, now I won't that's subjective. Argue that. But you admit that Judah is not in the land. You admit Judah went into slavery. You admit Judah lost their identity and was called by a different nation, but that's subjective. No, but I want uh, yeah, so I know subjective, no, brother. No. It's selective. That's hey, what it is. I, you, you're right. You're right. But I, well, here's what I also admit that he did worse than that to Israel. Now, name all that stuff that you just named off and put some more on what he did to the northern kingdom. But I, it, 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 that that's irrelevant because if the same thing happened, then no, it's not irrelevant. It, and nothing in the Bible is irrelevant. Now, retract that statement. No, for, no it, it, the point the point you're making is irrelevant. The okay. Bible is not irrelevant, but to the conversation we're being had for you to say, well, some extra stuff happened to Israel. It I did mean, happen. Oh, oh, I'm not I mean, saying that. It said. Uh, okay. They both got, they both got, uh, in a nutshell, the same thing. No. What does in a nutshell mean? You talking to somebody who is a master with words. What do you mean in a nutshell? In a master with words. Okay. All yes, right. sir. If, if, what if, do you if, mean if, by if, in a if nutshell? You're a with words, if you're a master with words. Yes. Okay. You said that one was divorced and one wasn't, but I, both are going to exactly. Be and you never well, proved wait, wait, to me differently. Be remarried, but both are going to be. You never remarried. proved to me differently. How? No, no, listen. I listen. showed you where the What's scripture the says he divorced a one. A person who's already married to get married again. Do you know? Is there a nah, word for that? You, you see, now you taking it somewhere. Adultery. That's else, the word. I, you taking it somewhere else. I, no, I'm what I'm saying is that we I'm going by what we can going. prove. Where I'm taking it is where you're. See, I'm used. I'm a nigga that's used to having to prove what's up. See, I I don't come from no background where you just gonna talk something and it's gonna get it done. You Brother, don't have to no, prove. Wait a minute. No, the Eric, very Eric, state Eric, that I'm Eric, in right Eric, now is wait, called wait, the show me state. You gonna have to calm down. You don't come True. from an era where you just talk and you gonna get it done. But you ain't read one Bible verse this entire time. Yes, I did. Have yes, I did. As a matter of fact, you read it for me. Talking about. Okay, we oh, went and read oh, in the oh, scriptures oh, where the Most High divorced oh, Israel. Oh, now you're oh, trying to say that I didn't bring a scripture. Oh, I brought that scripture. You, 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 you did. Hold up. Hold up. I, wait a minute. You said, you said, just because you said louder don't make you right. What I'm okay. saying is that you said that the North, you said that you was about to show me where Judah got divorced as well. And you never did it. It's on no, the wait, video. Wait, 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 you don't realize that? Number one, number one, number one again. The divorcement is them getting put out of their land. If you can't tell me what else, if you're the definition of being divorced is curses coming upon them, then you can't say that it's unique. You would have to be able to show me what it uniquely happened exclusively to the kingdom of Israel. And I respect that argument. What went through them as divorce. I respect that argument. I'm saying, but what I'm also saying as well is that we can prove that he said he was going to have, he said, but I will have mercy on the house of Judah, which implicate, which, which self implicates, self implicates that he did worse to the Northern kingdom than he did to the Southern kingdom. Why are we even arguing about that? Okay. Okay. But did eventually what happened to the Northern kingdom happen to the Southern kingdom? 
I'm going to say to some degree, yes. I'm not saying you all the way wrong about that. But I'm saying that there's something. Listen, this is what I'm willing to admit. I'm going to say that there's something that happened to the northern kingdom that I'm not willing to say this is exactly what it was that happened to him. But we can tell by, by, by textual context that there was more that happened to the northern kingdom to the southern kingdom. I don't have to know nothing about not rocket scientists to figure that out. It says it right there in the scriptures. So though I'm not saying that, that, that I know exactly what that means, and if in fact that is uh, equals up to the final marriage back into it, you could very well be right about that. But what I'm saying is that there is something that obviously happened to the northern kingdom that did not happen to the southern kingdom just because it said that I will have mercy on them. So he kept something from them that he didn't hand. I mean, he kept something from them that he did not hand to the northern kingdom. Would, 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 would you be able to surmise or would you be able to reason to, 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 to admit that reasonably that that thing that differentiated the two was time and that it happened sooner to Israel, but he suffered Judah for longer, for a longer period of time and gave the southern kingdom longer, a longer period of time to repent and get right. And that potentially could be what the differentiation would be. I'm absolutely willing to surmise that. Like, because I, I, I like, I don't have another solution to what it could be. So I would be hypocritical to say, I don't know what it is, but it ain't that. How stupid is that? So okay. it could, it, I could I, that could very well and, be and, it. And I, and I say this as well, like, um, what is that? Like in Ezekiel 16, it, it identifies the Northern kingdom as the big, as the older sister, right? So if the Lord is dealing with the Northern kingdom as the older sister, then of course it would make sense that harsh judgment came down quicker because as we know, just even dealing with the household, the older sibling is always going to get the brunt of the judgment or the punishment that comes down because of the, the knowledge and the responsibility and the example that needs to be set for the younger. You see what I'm saying? Right. So that's why I'll say it really just had to do with time. And then eventually Judah ended up getting it too, because Judah just couldn't get right. But Judah just had more opportunities going all the way into the time of who the world calls Christ. Right. But, okay. So I'm so, uh, so my thing was that my whole thing was shit. Get I, I, That's why I'm looking for an answer. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm saying like, I'm not saying who's wrong. I'm not trying to say that you're wrong. I'm saying that here we have a situation that says this, there has to be an explanation for yeah. this clause in itself that okay. says he had mercy on Judah. Now, okay. can I say that that meant that they became Gentiles? Of course I can say that, but that would only be my estimation and what I came up with. I never try to go out and say, this is what the scriptures is and this is the truth. Because the law is the truth, and I'm not the law, and I'm only trying to interpret it. So what I'm saying is that um, though explanation for it, I do know that there is something that happened to them further than Judah. That's all I'm saying. Okay. I'm not saying that you're wrong in that at all, because you all could right, very part. well be right. So uh, with that, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, as far as that is concerned, with the with the with the uh the natives of or the the tribes of Israel having to be all Negro, I do believe that because I believe that if ne if Shem put forth one Negro, then he put I mean no I'm saying if Jacob put forth one Negro, then he put forth eleven Negroes. That's all I'm saying. How could one tribe be of Negro descent or so called Negroes, but then we got eleven tribes of something different? So that's but, one I mean, thing but, that I, that I no, nobody said that Judah didn't put forth. 12 Negro. I mean, did Jacob did put forth 12 Negro, but I want to make this point okay. really quick because you made a point about um, uh, 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 the southern kingdom uh, uh, not being Gentiles. And this is um, no, remember, we talked about that. Remember, I'll retract really it, statement. It's, it's another, it's another, it's another point I want to make because it really the point I want to make is not to now, it's to then. Um, so like it, oh, two, so like first Maccabees one. And uh, 40, uh, I'm going to start at 41. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people and everyone should leave his laws. 
So all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. Yea, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idols and profaned the Sabbath, right? So as we know at that time, many Jews, because that who was there in Israel at the time was the southern kingdom, many of the southern kingdom totally left being Israelites and started calling themselves Greek, right? And uh, give me that other uh, precept, um, Tazama. And that was by force, right? Nah, many, it says, now look, it says, Many consented. There was uh, there was also ones that did it by force and were forced into it, but also many just consented to it. Consented, right? right. Many gotcha. consented, right? Right. Uh, first Maccabees one in forty. Hey, tell Aka I said what's up back there. I don't see him that much. Shalom, shalom. Tell the brother I said what's up uh, down there. I don't I don't, I don't see him. Tell him I said shalom. Shalom. Shalom, Mark. Right. Go ahead, Ak. Second Maccabees chapter six. Uh, verse 6, uh -huh. it was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days uh -huh. or ancient feasts or to profess himself at all to and, be a Jew? And this, and this was the forced part. We weren't allowed to, so right. a lot of us came into it. Read. I'm going to jump down to verse 8. Moreover, there went out a decree to the neighbor cities of the heathen mm -hmm. by the suggestion of Ptolemy against the Jews mm -hmm. that they should observe the same fashions and be partakers of their sacrifices. And whoso would not conform themselves to the manner of the Gentiles should be put to death. You see, then might a man have seen the present misery. Then was that force, right? But then also there was um, there's a book I got. I'm gonna just reference this real quick. Maybe we could talk about it some other time. But basically, it's, right. called, it's called the Hellenistic Civilization and the Jews, right? And it documents the Helleniz the Hellenization that occurred to brothers that was in Israel, how they would just move off into Greece and totally become Greeks, and it's and it. It clearly documents how we were overrunning Greece, but we were conforming to Greek as fashion. So how uh, we were gentilized back then. But we uh, could go, we can move on uh to the next point. You had some deep go ahead. Oh yeah, yeah. We can move to the next point. Uh and I go and I agree just yeah, while we move it, I agree with you because they got artifacts with statues that show uh half the head white and half the head black, showing how Greece was once black and then Turn white. So yeah, I, I yeah, I know that history. So Boom, right there. I'm gonna ask you, where is where is Babylon today? Uh that would be roughly Iraq, somewhere around there. Iran, one of them. What is it? Iraq? Where's, mo where's modern day Babylon that Revelation talks about? Ma modern day Babylon is uh uh Arabia, you know that. Mystery Babylon, mystery Babylon yeah. is Arabian? Yeah. <laughs> nah, you know. Come on, man. You know damn well I'm. You got. You got I'm, I'm messing with you, bro. I remember. No, I, I, I wholeheartedly subscribe to. I wholeheartedly believe that America is Mystery Babylon. America's Babylon. So where are the Northern King? Where is the Northern Kingdom? Where is the the bulk the bulk of the Northern Kingdom at today? Now, the bulk of the Northern Kingdom that. That that y'all say is the Northern Kingdom is here in America. Now, you, uh, uh, from a twelve tribe Negro only doctrine, where the hell is them niggas at? <laughs> yeah, right here. I mean, but 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 uh, you think we the biggest portion of us? I'm asking you, where is the no where is the Northern Kingdom? Where is the Northern Kingdom? Your, who okay, you understand so to be the Northern remember, Kingdom? Where are they? Who you understand? to be the northern kingdom where are they today okay so um like i said when we opened up alazar if you remember this i said that i heard you know what i'm saying that i heard the doctrine about turkey and then i looked into that because it didn't sound feasible to me until i was like okay well damn this is where all seven churches is that's one thing i got to say well okay we can we can at least say that we can't overlook turkey even if it's just to say that the seven churches are there and this is why what not we even if we don't say that this is where the 12 tribes at we do know that's where the seven churches are and so that's that was a starting point for me i previously believed without a doubt that this was where we was at the the, the mexicans all i believe the same thing but I, somebody put something to my attention and then I looked at it and I'm trying to be objective about it and not biased because I'm coming from the same belief that you have. So I'm, I'm just being biased in looking at the information. Okay. He pointed out to me, this is what the brother asked me that threw me for a loop, bro. Because you can find me probably on some distant remote video teaching this scripture about the Americas and us coming 
to here by way of Ezra's letting us know this is how we got here to America, the northern kingdom meaning, uh, what I'm saying. So, but what I'm saying is, he says, show me in these scriptures where it had anything to do with a boat or sailing or going anywhere on water. He, and when he said that, I'm like, man, that scripture do say something about boats or ships or something. And when I looked at it, sure enough, it had it, it didn't. And it furthermore said, and through that, that, there was a great way to go. And so when we go and look at the map where they were taken, when they were taken out of Assyria, they was taken to where right around uh, southeast Turkey, Hop, they were taken uh, to Habor. northwest they were taken Iran. To Habor. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, it uh, goes on. It was it was like five, four or five different areas that they took in that same area that you mentioned. Yes, sir. Yeah, they were. It was very All close to that same area, right. right in that same region. And then you know, what I'm saying so that's why I'm looking at it because I'm King Solomon told me that seas don't flood. The sea does not flood according to King Solomon. So according to this 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 teaching, but, but it's it's called the flood. It, it's not saying that there was a flood. It, it's it's calling it a flood. But what would be flooding? Flood is water. That's what a flood. Just in general, water. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. I see. I, I see what you're saying. So, so, so what you say? Okay. So, so, so. That's what it's not like. It's not saying that the sea is flooding, but it got is you. In fact, the flood. You should. I, I, I feel so. So, so, so. I mean, just, I mean, keeping it real. I'm gonna say I, that it, may, it makes sense. I mean, I, I, I mean, you know, what I'm saying I don't say that. I won't say that that's illogical. Okay me actually especially when you consider how hebrew is written yeah like, like um you you know when when we were going to get our allotments and you know it was it was the tribes on one side of the jordan and the other you know what right I'm i got you yeah like, yeah i got you when that happened they remember when they made the monument and what they said was this is between us we live on this side of the flood but it's you know so y'all don't uh, yeah 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 so so yeah they so, call yeah. it Jordan the floods yeah yeah no no I, no no I got you I, no, no. I mean but yeah I I I I see exactly I see exactly what you're saying I I got you because because them words or when you're dealing with that thought I know it is going to give you more a con a, a more concrete example than exactly. you know what I'm saying we would have to our disposal with English so yeah. so that being said but what I'm saying this is the reason what drove me to look into it because of the seven churches being in turkey and knowing that those seven churches were uh being addressed the israelites that was in those seven churches is who was being addressed so i said that it's worth looking into i'm just now coming out of america uh not being the place where the israelites uh my or or possibly not being the place where they migrated because i'm you know, somebody just presented this information to me maybe like four or five months ago. So I'm not, though I'm not subscribing to it, I'm not kicking it out because it's a lot of things about it that make sense. Now yeah, they exactly. tell me how could it take a year and a half to get from this point to that point? You know what I'm saying? Which is very feasible when we consider that we have to stop every Sabbath. We got to stop every holy day. No, you, know what I'm no. you got 10 nations of people moving with kids, women, and children. So the time factor now, is not that. I, I actually, now here's the thing, right? I got a video mm -hmm. where, I, where I do the, the Google map, uh -huh. how long it'll take to walk from those two points. Uh -huh. You know what, how long it would take to walk from one point? I bet I know. Tell me. Maybe like 25, 30 days. About 20 days. All so, right, so. That's even, considering even factoring I, in stopping every Shabbat. Nah, nah. Stopping yeah, but, but all that's women and children, what? 20 days turns into 18 months. Hey, hold up. So, so yeah, I, I feel you, but we factor in, you know what I'm saying, the Sabbaths, like I said, we factor in all the other holy days. We still got to factor in the fact that people going to get sick. We got to factor in that people are traveling with children that, you know what I'm saying, and, that, and those numbers are based on moving uh, I want to say is two miles an hour for 12 hours straight every day. You see what I'm saying? So I'm not discrediting because that's still a lot of days you got to make up. You still got to make up a lot of days to get to 18 months, no doubt. But it's still going to be considerably longer than 20 because of all of the things that's going to come with 10 in migrating. So I see the point there. Um, so 
I mean, I'm not with. Oh, last point. Last point I want to make that you know what I'm saying. Maybe you can get back with me on sometime or whatever. But we also, uh, maybe I said this. Oh, you did answer that question. You did answer that question because I brought up the fact about the Omex and whatnot artifacts that would predate the Israelites being here, which says that there would already have been mankind that was here yeah, before now, the I, Israelites would have arrived. I want to address that point. Give me Genesis 49 real quick. I want to address that point also about the Omex. Because if, if when you study the Omex, the Omex didn't predate any civilization according to their own history and according to the history of the peoples around them, that they were a foreign people that came in from outside, right? So let's go. Give me that Genesis forty nine. Hey, foreign, about foreign, but still pretty foreign. But they still go back pretty far. And I just threw them in there as an example. Maybe not. Yeah. Maybe maybe not a good now, example. The omics, the omics are a tremendous example because it actually proves the point. Watch this. Go ahead. Look at Genesis chapter forty nine, verse thirteen. Uh huh. Zebulon. Zebulon. Right. We say the Zebulonites uh -huh. are the descendants of the Mayans that that populate Central America. From Guatemala to Panama, right? Go ahead. Right. Shall dwell at the haven of the sea. Well, so, of course, we're dealing with that's the Panama Canal. And also, elsewhere in Central America, there are many ship havens there from Guatemala down. Go ahead. And he shall be for a haven of ships. Uh huh. Go ahead. And his border shall be unto Zidon. His border shall be unto Zidon. That's the key point. In ancient Israel, Zebulon's border was never to Zidon. In ancient Israel, Zebulon's tribal allotment was landlocked. There was no sea around it. So how can they be a haven of ships? And how can their border be to Zidon when that has never occurred to them at any point in history, right? right? So now it says that their border shall be unto Zidon. Zidon are the Omex that came over and stayed because we know that, that Hiram and the Zidonians or the Canaanites had that route set up where they was coming over into the Americas. They was coming over into America, right? So we, we, they we got set up a trade route. Now, listen, let me finish the point now real quick. The Omex were known as trade. They would trade. They would sail around the Yucatan Peninsula and trade. That's what they did, just like the Canaanites. And we refer to them, or the, the Mayans and the Aztecs refer to them as the people of a rubber lineage, meaning they were not the same as them, yet they tried to act as if they were the same as them, and then they just disintegrated. But the thing is, where the Omex land was, was at the very bottom of Mexico, where Guatemala and Mexico meet, or where the Mayans and the Aztec met. Which is why we know that the Zebulonites are the Mayans, because their border, their border was to Zidon, was to where the, Zid the, uh, the Zidonians had settled in the Americas after the Northern Kingdom had settled, and they set up a trade post there. You see what I'm saying? So, yes, the Zidonians were black people, and they were a Hamitic people. They were the Hamites that was coming over here. Right, but our people were also there. You see what I'm saying? And they just settled in and traded amongst our people. And there's documents about Canaanites, voyages of Canaanites, crash landing in the Americas and South America and in Central America. Well, go ahead. Ar. Would that would that would that uh so honest question, would that go still go against what the scripture said where never mankind dwelt? Because that would say no, that no, somebody no the point is they didn't live here first. They had no point to live here. There's nobody here. The Canaanites are a merchant people. They would come here and get goods, but they didn't live here. After we settled here, after the Northern Kingdom settled here, then they lived here and they set up a trading post here. So nobody lived there prior to the, the Northern Kingdom. Uh, so okay, so 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 the so, so the artifacts. So you're saying that any artifacts that are found should not predate. I'm gonna say should not. Because we don't, um, you know what I'm saying? So any artifacts found in this hemisphere should not predate the Northern Kingdom being here. Uh, yeah, I would say do not predate. Okay, do not predate. Okay. So, all right, that's cool. So, I, I you know, I, I'll leave that at that because, you know what I'm saying, I, I, I'll probably get with my boy Ron Shields on that one and uh, see what he got to say about artifacts. I know he into that real heavy, and I respect what he has to say about yeah, he, that type of stuff with, with relative dating as well yeah yeah and he can, huh i said he deals with, with relative dating relative dating so Which, you know the do, dating do, the do, dating I, I, I know you know just so, the, know so the audience knows relative dating is when we take into consideration all the historicals account of all the civilizations around an area and then that's how we establish the time right versus a white man coming and saying 
She's ten million years old. This galaxy. Right, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and so, so I, I give more respect to that than what they talking about as far as carbon dating and stuff like that. See, because, because, because science says I can, I can repeat this. I can observe it, and I can prove it. That's the that's the definition of science. So yeah, I can't you know, observe ten million years ago. Hell no, nah, you can't show me nothing that old. You know, you can't perceive ten million in your mind, like. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know, science is I can cut down a tree and count the rings and it approximately tells me how old the tree is. Oh, that part you see right what there. I'm saying? So, 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 so that's why I said I'm going to get with, with, with Ron, Divine Prospect, because he did come down to Kansas City. I think I might have shot you an invite to that time that he yeah, came. Yeah, I recall. I recall. And, uh, yeah, he gave a real good lecture on some stuff about that. So, so I'm going to reserve my opinion about that because I'm no expert in that type of archaeology. I'm going to get with him. But um, Deacon, what else was that? Was that to was that what else did you have? No, I asked you where the northern kingdom was. You said hell if I know, and then um, man, ain't nobody say the hell if I know. <laughs> I said I, I said what I can prove is that seven churches that received letters from Paul is in Turkey and not in the western hemisphere. Okay, so would you agree? Would you? Would you say that the bulk of the Northern Kingdom is not in Babylon, modern day mystery Babylon that the Bible speaks of, which is America? You say what I say, the bulk of the Northern Kingdom is not in Babylon yeah. that I call America today? Um, and I, I, you know, I, I really don't want to answer that question because I can, that would be food because we scattered across the whole globe, like, this is such well, a small spectrum. There we go. Predominantly. Huh? Predominantly. Where are where well, are predominantly? We? Um, I would I mean predominantly, even if I didn't subscribe to the, the northern kingdom, I would probably still say that we predominantly in this area. We're I would still have America, to go right? with that. Yeah, I would still have to go with that because you I mean, especially when you consider North and South America, you know what I'm saying? The America, and, uh, yeah. Right, the Americas. So, um, I, you know, and Deacon, uh, like, you know, my boy sat in the car with me. And now this is my homie, sat right in the car with me when we was on the phone and said Babylon was Arabia. Did he not? This is my homie now. So I don't, man, I don't put no faces and titles on how I view shit. I put the truth where it's supposed to go. You know what I mean? I'm going to put no circle in no square. I'm not going to do none of that. So at the end of the day, I'm not going to say that I, I believe that all of us is in Turkey. Shit, that's still hard for me to wrap my mind around it, even if it's the truth. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying it's something that came to my attention that I think is worth looking at. And I think if people that's in y'all position, like, you know what I'm saying, give more credit to the other argument. Not saying that you don't, but I'm saying that at least we're going to hear it and break it down, which which is kind of what y'all doing right now. So I respect that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these camps won't do that. They just don't believe what they believe and not hear the other side. And that's why I always bring up what prompted you to change how you view the moon and those things. Something gave you the inclination to look at another situation objectively. And so that's the only reason I'm having this conversation with you because Though I don't get many likes like you do and friends, I don't give a shit. I really don't. You know what I'm saying? This is about talking to somebody that I got respect for. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that, you know what I'm saying, Deacon, you know what I'm saying? I got respect for that brother, you know what I'm saying? Even though we didn't have spaz, he always handled it in a cool fashion, even when I was more aggressive. You know what I'm saying? So I respect stuff like that, man. And I'm not taking this to no not. I might, all right, I might be Ricky on the next meme. <laughs> That's cool. You gun me down, do Deacon. I'll be back, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's no, all no. good, man. No. I, I really do appreciate it, though, man. Because you, uh, you know, you have to make you have to make a definitive uh, statement. You're gonna tell me if the Bible says the north northern kingdom and the southern kingdom is in Babylon together, the bulk of them. You're gonna tell me that every black person I basically the northern and southern all the black people that are here in America. That consists of the bulk of the Northern Kingdom and Southern Kingdom. Hold up, uh, well, let me make sure I heard that right. Now I want to, uh, I want to misconstrue what you said. Now you said 
that am I saying that the bulk of the northern kingdom is not in America? Is that what you said? No, I'm saying the bulk of the northern kingdom. No, not yet. I was I'm the, the bulk of the northern kingdom and southern kingdom, the Bible says, is in Babylon, which is America, which we both agree on. So you're telling me that it's just all we got did it say they, they say? was together or say is did it say they was there together? Yeah, because it say they were oppressed there together, right? Right. All right, see, so so the person who brought me, so when I got this box, that's what I said. That's one of the things that I said is problematic. You know what I'm saying? Just like I said, it was problematic that no mankind never dwelt in Turkey. Like certain things was problematic for me. So that's why I say I'm I'm in a genuine search for the truth. So I'm because entertaining Jeff it. Japheth had Turkey allotted unto him. Japheth is not the white man, by the way. No, of, of, yeah, for the record, Japheth is not the white man, but the original Japhites, they had Turkey. All right, I'm just saying, we all on the record is knowing that. Yeah, yeah, just so every, nobody gets that twisted. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the white man is the devil, brother. <laughs> and that the Bible speaks of, and some more shit. <laughs> but go ahead. Though. No, but... Uh, so, because oh. I'm not willing to release... God's ultimate anger on anybody but him, even if it's not up to me to release God's anger. All right, I know that. But I'm not willing to turn that over to another nation who, who we can never prove another nation that has dealt more wickedly with the planet and with the people and with the animals on it, That's right. with the food. That's right. Everything he does has an ulterior wicked motive. So that, that almost has to put him as Esau. That's right. Like he, by default, He's Esau. You can't have nobody that that had can't nobody top what he's did. That's right. The scripture said that when this devil is put to rest, even the fir tree, was it fir trees or cedar trees, gonna be at rest. Everybody's gonna worship and praise when this man is laid down. This damn right. Okay, so before before I let you before I let you go, you still gotta give a defense. You got you can't say it's problematic. I need I need a I need a definitive answer for this. For where the northern, for where the twelve tribes are, the bulk, the bulk of the northern kingdom and the bulk of the southern kingdom. If, if by your understanding, this is Babylon, and that all twelve tribes are Negro, that means all the black people we see here in America. This consists of the bulk of the Israelites, all twelve tribes. Now, now, now would that be me saying that I know what's going on, or would that be me? researching what's going on because your, I, although i'm challenging estimation. the doc huh by your best estimation as to the by my best estimation like i'm a still I'm, here's the thing i'm still gonna rock with you know what i'm saying that the majority of the southern kingdom is here by via slave ships and that the northern kingdom was was almost a part of a willing dis uh dispersing like they just they not we know the most high did it but they got together amongst themselves and they sailed or they went where they went you see what i'm saying it wasn't a force uh dispersion so to say so what i'm saying is that they're everywhere i just don't believe that they are the the, the people that we call them i believe for, okay, this might help me prove my point. We'll just say for like the 12 tribes chart as we know it today, all right? Or if we found some Russians, if we found some, some, do you think we can find Israelites in Russia today? Would it be accurate to say that there are Israelites in Russia today? Say that again, my bad. Man, y'all rude, bro. <laughs> you're right. You're right. So lucky. I come to Cali. Hey, my, never mind. I ain't going to do that. Hey, check this yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Israelites in Russia. It's Israelites in Russia. So what tribe would they be for? Well, you, you would have to make an inquisition of where they came from. The Israelites in Russia didn't live their whole life in Russia. They moved. Right, just like the Israelites in, in South America and us here. We Right, of course. That's exactly my point. So, I like I tell people, I don't think the 12 tribes chart is wrong. I just think it's not broad enough. I think that no, yeah, no, it, it's the twelve tribes chart is the twelve tribes is limited it, as it pertains to the West to to the Americas. Right. Okay. Got you. So so that so you know, Deacon. I hate to you know. I really do want to. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm at this point. I just have to continue to search. 
Okay. Because, because I, I, I do believe, I do believe that we have Israelites that are here that's from the Northern Kingdom, just like everywhere else. You know what I'm saying? But I just, I, I think as opposed to us talking about the place that they from, I have a problem with the people okay. who they are. Not the All place, right. but the people. I want to I, I wanna bring a couple things to your attention that you may or may not have heard before in regards to this argument. First thing, I want to give a practical example, right? A lot okay. of times, for example, going back to the Afro-Mexicans, people say, well, they look different than how they look, right? So let's take me, for example. Uh, we know for a fact I have a Negro father, right, from Haiti. So everybody knows that. But if you didn't know that, which many people, of course, at first glance, don't know that, they automatically assume, especially before I had a beard on my face, that I'm a Latino. So it's not a very far-fetched concept. Just because a Latino is on the lighter skin or may have recessive traits, that does not disqualify him from being of the descent of a Negro. I agree we, with you. We can't, we can't use that. As I agree with you. I agree with oh, you. Now, I'm going to show you something, though, also. I, wanted, I, now, I just wanted to make that practical example. So now I want to make... Because to, when people say, well, the 12 tribes, all 12 sons were Negro, you, you, you're right. All 12 sons were Negro 4,000 years ago. You know what I mean? So anything can happen, just but one Alizar, generation, this generation, Alizar, that generation, right? The difference is, the difference mm -hmm. is, is that the one thing you got from your father is Negro traits. You have Negro demeanor. You have Negro presence. You okay. have light skin. That's it. You but, see what I'm saying? And see, even if see, your mother, so, listen, listen. Go ahead. Even, even if your mother was a black woman, you could have still damn well come out looking just like you look right now. That's true. That's true. That's true. So I'm just saying that although it doesn't disqualify them, there's still something as a son of a Negro that you have that they don't have. This is true, it's just, but it's, we also I'm have not, to understand I, the spirit that's on every, every tribe has their own diverse spirit. And then the kingdoms have their own spirit as well. I'm not gonna argue that. I'm you certainly not gonna argue because, that. Because just like just like we got Crips and Bloods, and and, and Mexicans got Norteños and Serenos, the, the same thing, the right. red and blue. You see right. what I'm saying? They get right. down a little, but they got their own. Like for example, like out here on the West Coast, we got a lot of Asians, we got a lot of like Polynesians, right? So they'll come over here. And they'll see what we do, and they'll copycat it, but they can't quite do it the way we do it. But then you take a look at the Latino; they're not copy. They got their own thing. It's like what we got, but it's it's their own. You see what I'm saying? Because of course we know Jacob is the the, the salt of the earth. But I want to show you this real quick in Ezekiel. It's Ezekiel 37 and 22, and I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel, and one king shall be to them all. And they shall be no more two nations, neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms anymore at all. So as we see, the, the, the northern and southern kingdom in these last days are functioning as two different nations. If we just all Negro, how the hell are we functioning as two different nations? That's the question. Negro all look at each other as the same. We have to be looking at each other as different. But how will we be looking at each other as different? That's the question. That's, That's a good question. question. That's a good question. And, and, and I'm going to ask you for, 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 you know what I'm saying, a, a couple of questions that I have not definitively addressed. I'm going to ask y'all for just a little bit of time to no, that's ponder cool. that. You know what I'm saying? Because, because I'm not scared to say, shit, I want to think about my answer. I don't want to be on damn live TV looking like no damn fool. <laughs> you know no, what I'm saying? That's, that, that's humility because you don't want to just – be proud. Oh, I'm on the spot, and I, I just got to be the nigga that just got to have the answer, you know. But uh, sh Sergeant, go ahead, go ahead. The Sergeant got a scripture. Come. Uh, Book of Isaiah, chapter 11, verse 13. Uh huh. The envy also of Ephraim oh. shall depart. You see that that envy because it's beef between blacks and Hispanics, right? See that's right. the thing too about us being different. Like if we all Negro, like what is it? Like light skin niggas is Northern Kingdom and dark, but that don't make no sense. <laughs> Because you could be light skinned with a dark skinned daddy, so that you know what I'm saying, right. like yeah, that flies know, how, out the window. How do we make sense of it, right? Go ahead. Yeah, how are you? How are you, if, to the? This is my question to the twelve tribe Negro only. How are you guys vexing Ephraim? How are you <laughs> vexing the Northern Kingdom? God, God. How are you? How are you? Uh, how am I vexing them? Yeah, how the scriptures say that the Southern Kingdom was going to vex the Northern Kingdom. So how are no, you guys? I think it's the reverse, ain't it? Huh? 
It's the reverse, now, isn't it? Judah vexes Ephraim and Ephraim envies Judah. Right. So how are you? Oh, vexing? Judah done the vexing. See, a lot of you guys say it's the West African guys, which, you know, whatever. You said a lot of guys say what? That uh, the Northern Kingdom, they're in West Africa. So I, just I ain't you know, said you ain't heard nothing like that come out of my mouth. I, I damn near don't want to admit no Africans is Israelites. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, just, just, I know just I have argument, to, but just the argument in general. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, the envy also of Ephraim shall depart, uh -huh. and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. Uh -huh. Ephraim shall not envy Judah, uh -huh. and Judah shall not vex Ephraim. And, 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 and that's what it be like that. To me, that perfectly summarizes what be going on between the black and Latino population, right? right? They right. get that in Hosea. Con, the mix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Con, book of Hosea, chapter 7, verse 8. Uh -huh. Ephraim, he have mixed himself among the people. Read. Ephraim is a cake, not turned. He mixed himself, so he's a cake, not turned. He done mix him. He been mixing since before he, he was exiled. That's part of the reason. He was getting down. Yeah, he got down with Hamites. He was getting down with Moabites, Ammonites, Ishmaelites, Edomites. That's 25, 26, 2700 years ago he was doing that. So then how much more now of the drastic change that would occur over the course of 3,000 years of mixing and mingling with all variants of people? Of course we know amongst the Latino populations, you got seeds of Spaniards. The same way we know amongst the, the African-American, you got seeds of Englishmen. Amongst the, the West Indian, you got seeds of Englishmen. Amongst the Haitian, you got seeds of Frenchmen. You see what I'm saying? And then let, let me get that on the tears and the weed again. Like, God, I, you know, and, and this is why Yahweh Shai gave this gave this parable, because we know the white man has sown seed, maybe the Hamites, you know, and other heathens have sown seed amongst us. You know what I'm saying? Like Hey, you it, know how you know how happened. you know how I nor anybody ever can ever use color as a pre prerequisite or pre what's the damn word? Prerequisite. prerequisite. Yes, sir. Pre that's the word I'm looking for. A uh, prerequisite to being an Israelite is simply because we can look at people like Bob Marley, who nobody would have ever thought that gentleman was an Edomite. Yes, sir. I mean, by beyond, I'm saying beyond my wildest imagination. When I found out about it, I'm like, oh, this is Facebook scholarship bullshit. <laughs> this can't, hey, this I'm not can't going be. for that one. I, I, you know what I'm saying? Same way with them two girls, them twins. Oh, yeah, I would have never. Yeah, so really, you can't. Really, what killed me is you smart cannot, guy. Smart guy is Edomite. <laughs> you cannot. You can never use color as a barrier to 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 do it. Well, I, like I said, I, you, you can't can, do that. You just can't. You can on the surface, but it, you know you got to on the it. surface, and, right? And, just, and that, and that proves goes, what you said earlier was valid because on the surface is what that is. On the I surface, agree with part, you. we use it. You know, we use it as an identifier, but also like the average, especially Mexican, because that that would be the greatest. A concentration of, of Latinos that we interact with being where we at. So oftentimes what will happen is we'll, we'll start breaking down to the Mexican about uh, the, you know, the color of the Israelites being black. And then they'll say, well, yeah, like my grandpa, he was dark and his hair was like this. But my grandma, she was lighter. You know what I mean? And then they, they got together. You see what I'm saying? So almost every time they identify, okay, they got that forefather that's of a darker skin, but he doesn't mingle with women of lighter complexions you see what i'm saying so that in, in part is what alters uh, um their their complexion and a lot of times like these these mexicans that that trump is demonizing as illegal immigrants especially they're some of the darkest people that you will see you see what i'm saying right. like the ones that's really the ones that's working and you know and breaking their back in the hard jobs and things like that they're darker their hair is woolly you see what i'm saying right so so that's what i'm saying like but they wouldn't necessarily call them they're not necessarily what you would deem Afro Mexican, you see what I'm saying? They they're deemed kind of what what the Latinos call like a Moreno. You see what I'm saying? A Morena. So even in that, we can see that they have that there. But but go ahead. But but they do vary though, right? Uh, uh go ahead with the wheat and the tears. Go ahead. Gone. Book of Matthew, chapter 13. Start at verse 27. Uh-huh. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Uh-huh, sir. Tis not thou so good seed in thy field? So wait, ain't they good seed? Why everybody mixed up and looking like this and that and the white man done rape people? I thought it was good seed so read. From whence then have it tears? Uh-huh. Why is there tears? There's non Israelites that's growing up amongst us, right? Read. Like like a tea in Tamara Mount, like a Bob Marley growing up in Jamaica. Hold on, go ahead. He said unto them, uh -huh. an enemy have done this. The enemy have come and raped our woman and sown his seed amongst us. Read. Right. The servant said unto him, 
Will thou then that we go and gather them up? So wait a minute. Let, yeah, let's figure it out now, right? Let's let's gather them up. Let's clear them out, right? Read. But he said, Nay. Yahweh Shah said, Nay, read. Let's while ye gather up the tares, uh -huh. ye root up also the wheat with them. Lest, lest you thinking that you getting away, or oh, you like, yeah, you got this type of feature, you got that type, oh, you don't seem like no Negro, or whatever, you can mess around and weed out somebody that don't need to be weeded out, and is an Israelite. So he said, no, don't try to weed him out, read. Right. Nay, lest while ye gather up the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them, uh -huh. let both grow together let, until the harvest. Let both grow together until the harvest. Then when the harvest come and the angels come, it's going to be that clear separation. You see what I'm saying? So and let somebody can... know like, oh yeah, yeah, my grandfather was blue-eyed, blonde-haired Spaniard or, you know, an a Irish man and, you know, some ill stuff like that. Then, you know, okay, dude is out. You know what I mean? But if as far as he knows, like, yeah, my people is indigenous or my people is Negro, you know what I'm saying? Then it just is what it is. Right. If they not, then the time is going to come where they're going to be separated. You see what right. I'm saying? Right. Right. Well, go ahead. And I'm once again, you. to agree to to agree with you, to agree with you again, I I I I think in one of my opening statements, one of them I said the same thing that it's not my job to tell you you're not part of God's kingdom. You know, so that's not my goal here. My goal is to say I'm I'm just reacting on information to say, okay, how do we move forward from this point? I think this is a discussion that needs to be had. And I think that the right people can have it and put things into perspective for their the own right audience. You know what I'm saying? So I think that these type of, especially when when you can say, uh, maybe after today or maybe after tonight when you wake up in the morning and replay this in your mind, that you didn't entertain somebody that was just bringing you a bunch of nonsensical arguments I at least try to have common sense and logic behind everything that I bring so that we can have a, 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 a discussion that we can both respect at least if we don't agree on. So, yes, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm going to bring scholarship. It's not going to be, you know what I'm saying, no, no idiocy or no ignorant arguments. Like, I'm never going to come and say Arabia is Babylon. <laughs> like there's nothing that supports things like that or Jaffet is 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 the white man you can't you can't go into see what people do and this is the last thing i'm gonna say i'm gonna drop the mic and let y'all end it how y'all want to but what a lot of people do when it comes to that Jaffet deal is they go to gog and magog and, and to ball and all of these people when not understanding those are still descendants of Jaffet. and so if Jaffet descended from noah who had two other black sons that Ham and Shem obviously produced black offspring. When did Japheth start producing white babies? Yeah, when did, when did that happen? And, and when would that ever like, happen? The key there is Ezekiel 38. It says prophesy against the land of God. Right, right. right. exactly. It, against the land. The against the land. We know that truly Europe and all them places was melanated before Esau came in there and did right. what he did, man. Right. But, uh, hey, man, once again, that's all I had on it. Yes, I, you know what I'm saying? I, for the last time, I respect the uh, opportunity to be on the platform because I'm trying to build my own, especially in this area where it's not a lot of brothers that come from backgrounds of people who have this knowledge. Like, the Midwest is a place where, you know, it's dry bones here for real. Like, I mean, I'm saying, like, the land of dry bones, like, where I stay, they they told us years ago that per capita has the one of the highest murder rates in the in the United States. Meaning, if if this city was blown up to the size of California, we probably have like seven hundred murders a year. Yeah, yeah, exactly per capita. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's 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 a place where I think like a bunch of y'all information. That's why I share a bunch of y'all videos and stuff like that because I think this information is important for everybody to get hold to. I think everybody who has no uh, dealings with the truth needs to join somebody's camp to learn discipline and to know that you got to stand on something. You got to get something and stand on it because that's what's going to develop you into somebody that can possibly get some truth revealed to them to reveal to others later. So uh, with that being said, man, I'm going to go ahead and let you finish off the, uh, the conversation. Uh, Deacon, uh, the sergeants appreciate all y'all time.
and uh, hopefully we can get together on some other discussions, you know what I'm saying, sure. and, and, and keep the dialogues moving, man. Most definitely. Right. It was a pleasure. Um, shalom, brother. All right, shalom, my. Yeah, with that, y'all, we're going to close out. We give all praise, honor, glory to y'all. Bye, shimmy, I was shy and say shalom.